missed. All right, somehow. Hmm. All right, we'll move this over here. We'll move it on over. The big old dog is moving in. Slide it on over. That's in the wrong place. I think the stream is destroyed. Let's see. Oh, it says I'm offline. Oh, no, it doesn't. All right. Now I have to refresh. Yeah, that wasn't good. It was pretty good, but not, not great. All right. So that was fun or something. And then which one is this? This is this. And this is this. All right. And then everything's back to normal. I think so. Um, no, I didn't get any on the laptop. It was like under the monitor. So basically I just cleaned the table pretty good. And now I, I can't drink this much Perrier because I spilled it. Yeah. Hey, Karen. Yellow. I, I needed you, but you were gone. That's okay. I spilled Perrier everywhere. So the computer's broken. The stream doesn't work. The microphone's dead. So I don't know what we're going to do now. Yeah. No, I don't think you can fix it. There's just water all everywhere in the in the laptop. I don't believe that happened because your stream was I know. Yeah. Right. No, it spilled like over here, <laughs> and then I I wiped, and then he got me a paper towel. Yeah, I didn't believe any of that. Right, and then no, but it happened. It's really clean over there now. There's almost there's like three drops. That's because I cleaned it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been cleaned up, and then I threw it over there and missed. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, none of it got anywhere. Yeah, Wait, what's what's going on over there? They don't make any noise. Now, 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 where copyright is gone. Yeah, terrible. All right, now what's this say? Oh, it says I went live again. All right, all right. So they drew every game today. Great. Aguirre was just winning, and he drew. What did I say? Yeah. What he, did I say? It was like plus two. Invite, I think I think Geary and Karyak and yeah, and Wesley and, and Anon. but Anon's winning. And so. Ding. And then it's like, oh, it's old. But Zing's 2,800. All right. Quelle surprise avec Spencer. All right. Man, I tricked Karen good. She was like, no, you broke everything. All right. Um, blah, blah, blah. The foreign visa program. Karpov didn't apply in time. What? I don't understand the, the stream. All right, uh, Bauer and Salad subscribed again. All right, uh, let's get to the thing, um, also known as uh, the stream. Let's see if Chess.com texted me telling me to go to hell. Let's see. Now, they said Vishwa nothing. All right. Hey, can you guys keep it down? I'm trying to stream. God, they're just like talking. All right. Anyway, so we're going to look at the 12 games from yesterday and or today. And the first game was Magnus versus Geary. So we have one of the weakest world champions of all time, if not the weakest, versus the, the most drawish player of all time. So it's well known that they always agree to a draw before the game and they just play for show. So they're thinking about not inviting either player next year. Oh, wait, I made all that stuff up, but it's still funny. All right. So Magnus was white, and he played a line that's been discredited for years. I know it's discredited because I play it. Yes. Okay. If I play it, it's discredited. Magnus probably studies my games, and he's like, oh, I'm going to play that. Feingold played it. Now, if you remember my game with Talia Cervantes from Foxwoods, which you don't. We got this position, except we had a different move order, okay? Against Talia, I played E4. Now, I used to be Talia's coach, and she played E5, and I knew she was gonna play the Berlin based on my coaching her. And so in this position, that was weird. Man, maybe it did get wet a little. That's a little wet. Okay. This position, I played C4, which was explosive, which is not really a move. 
And then we got this position transposing into the English line that I figured she wouldn't know because she doesn't play E5 against the English. And then I was right, but she still played better than me. Then I played better than her. And we're a happy family. Now that's the same position as this position, which occurred in Magnus's game. I'm back to Magnus's game now by clicking somewhere else in the game. Okay. Well, you thought Magnus was the best ever because thinking is not your strong suit. All right. Now, Geary played bishop b4, which is the main move, and Talia played bishop c5. Although I think Anish has played bishop c5 before, possibly against Magnus. Okay, bishop b4 is the known antidote to this line. And then after d3, d6, Magnus played a move I'm not familiar with. The way to play white in this position is to feed and kind of your bishop, and later you try to move your knight and play f4. Okay, that's the only way to try to get an advantage. And Magnus played bishop e2, basically playing for a draw because he did so badly in the rapid and blitz. So I, I'm pretty sure he was trying to decide whether he would retire before this event between the Singfield rapid and blitz and the Singfield cup, but he already accepted the invitation. So he has to play in the tournament. So probably he's going to play for nine draws and then that'll be it. That's my guess anyway. Um, let's see, blah, 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 the tooth hurts. Who's the weakest excluding Magnus? I don't know, Irv, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, already, you know, Magnus showing his opening preparation is pretty, pretty silly. All right. And Bishop to G4. And this is just a very boring game where they traded all the pieces off and agreed to withdraw. And afterwards... Magnus said, yeah, I got nothing out of the opening and, you know, I got Vishwa nothing. Okay. He played a three. I mean, every move is good for black. They're all equal. He played Bishop C5. That's fine. B4, Bishop B6. And there's a trade fest. Okay. Now, actually, uh, we have a big house, as you know, and we have the chess center. So we actually had an email discussion with Geary about moving to Atlanta and working in our home in our chess center, not chess related, but to clean up because he's so good at vacuuming the board. We figured he would be good at vacuuming our chess center, our house. And also we have a giant chess set outside just like in St. Louis. And he's seen the one in St. Louis. So he would know, you know, sort of what to do. And for some reason he refused. He said there was more vacuuming to be done in, at high level chess. So I guess when he retires, maybe he will move here and he can vacuum up. And then I can ask him, you know, who the father of his wife's kid is. Because I always wondered that. All right. Anyway, um, so he started the vacuuming process. Bishop takes f3. Bishop takes f3. Now, you don't want to trade bishops on, on e3 because we got the nice juicy d4 square. So he played knight d4. That way he could he could charge you know, change more pieces. All right. See you guys like that joke. Yeah. All right. Wow. What's going on? Reader mode. Wow. The computer's going crazy. It must be because I spilled the water. But my computer's going insane. I wonder if it's affecting the stream. Let me see. No, nope, stream looks good. It's just my computer. Yay. All right, exit, reader off. What the hell? God damn. Maybe spilling stuff everywhere did affect everything. I don't know. It must have because it's turning off. I could, the, the thing's going crazy. Yeah, I blame society. The stream's not affected. The stream looks great. But this monitor needs to be thrown in the garbage. Oh, I think this wasn't pushed in good enough. Yeah, the course. Did you push yeah. that in? Yeah, okay. still no good. It's 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 the darkest thing that's ever happened. Looks fine to me. Yeah, you look here and see if it looks fine to you. Well, what happened? Man, uh, we'll refresh. Yeah, I mean the whole monitor is messed up. Um, so we'll unplug it and plug it but in. But which part is wrong? It's really really dark. Oh. It got messed up. Something popped up and said, reader. Okay, now it looks good. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I mean, it, I just broke it when I dropped everything. I think also the cord wasn't plugged all the way in. Right, and then it, and then I broke it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's still no good. Damn. Can't you just change the display settings? I mean, it's broken. I don't know what this happened. It hasn't finished refresh. It'll stop being dark when it. It looks fine to me. It's really dark. It, it looks fine to you, but it's oh, okay. it's yeah, Brenda, it's um, you almost see nothing here. Oh, there should be some display settings. Yeah, where's that? Um. Uh, also, it's spinning. Yeah, this isn't good. And some weird thing popped up. Terrible. I see. Yeah, it's broken forever. Okay. What do I do? Settings? Mm -hmm. Now what? Just click it. Yeah. This is the settings for chess.com. Okay, where, can you bring, like, <laughs> bring up your settings down there? Yeah. Or maybe you can just do it later. Yeah, it's to do it later. Yeah. yeah it's just broken. Uh -huh. We'll buy another monitor it, and I'll fix it right up. It is not broken at all. Yeah. That's not good. But I can fix it for you. Let's see. Send to Karen PC. What? Translate to English. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, it was funny. Some weird thing popped up and then it went away and then it's broken. Aww. Luckily, on the actual thing, it looks great. See? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So the only thing worse than me spilling Perry everywhere was if you were Anish Giri. Oh, that would be the worst. Man, I can't believe anything. Nothing could be worse than that. Um, let's see. Mm, what can I do to make the, the picture better? I'm going to turn off the monitor and then turn it on. And that'll be the last thing I try. Ah, smart, inactive. Let's see. I don't want that. Let me do that again. That was cool. Cannot be used. Darn. Yay, fixed it. Although it says connection lost. I pushed some buttons. And my chess.com is, is, is broken. All right. Yay. Now it's probably back. I don't know. But but I talked to Peter Gabriel and who's the other woman? What? Kate Bush. Yeah, Kate Bush. And she, they said give up. Man, it's harsh. All right. Everything's fixed now by accident. Okay. Now that's actually funny because when... When I lived in Michigan as a little kid, we were over some people's houses who were neighbors of ours. I must have been like five or six years old. And then I remember my mom told me that they had a southern accent, but I thought she said accident. I think that was for a long time. I thought it was southern accident. So I think just now I had a southern accident, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, one time in bed. Oh, wait, I can't talk about that. Okay, it's Karen. Hi, Karen. Yay, you're from Michigan. Yay. Um, that's right, Magnus doesn't, yeah. All right, everything looks normal for me now. I'm not sure if I'm online, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so in this position, both players resigned, and they, they were called for cheating. What's not scrolling? No, I blame society. That's not even related to the problem. Yeah. Let's see, chat box, turn on, turn off. Yeah, that'll be fixed later, much later. Happens about once every two weeks, the chat box stops working in the middle of the stream and then it starts going again. Oh, okay. I don't know, right. yeah, okay. So back to whatever I was doing. Yeah, that can never be fixed. It just works on its own. Yeah. That's just because Amazon and Twitch and Chess.com and, you know, LG and Acer, they're all run by doofuses. They can't get anything to work. Terrible. This guy says Chess.com's down right now, even though I'm on it. 
Yeah. Okay. Now, here I asked Kramnik. This is a true story. I said, Kramnik, and he said, call me Vlad. And I said, Kramnik, this position, who's winning? And he said, which color am I? So that, that actually happened. Yeah. I pushed tab, and I got this Perrier. Why didn't I get a tab? Terrible. And my monitor turned off. Damn. This is harsh. Yeah, my monitor's going crazy. I wonder if it's crazy like a Fox or like Fox News. Yeah. Is water just flavorless Perrier? Exactly. Man, this monitor just keeps turning on and off. Good stream. Okay. Anyway, now here, Magnus was pretty upset because there were still pieces on the board. Okay. And he's like, come on. I thought you knew how to vacuum up. So Magnus played knight a4, the most boring of moves. That way we trade all the pieces. Everything gets traded. Okay, and then Geary called the arbiter over. This is a true story. And he said, I'm the one who trades all the pieces, not my opponent. And Chris Bird said, he's right, Magnus. Geary trades all the pieces, not you. And they discussed making Magnus take back knight a4, but in FIDE rules, they couldn't do it. So he's like, all right, all right, I'm going to trade all the pieces. Check, takes, and then castles. Right. Now, obviously, in a normal tournament, the players would agree to a draw now, um, or possibly even before the game. Now, remember, according to my chat, Magnus is the greatest player ever, although they probably meant he's the greatest at trading all the pieces off and making sure he never wins with white. That's probably what they meant. Okay, so uh, there's a no draw rule this tournament. No draws. The only way to draw is if there's a repetition or if it's king against king. So we have 11 draws out of 12 games. Very suspicious. Okay, and so Magnus castled. And then it was very boring. And then they did some more trading. I take you. Okay. In the whole game, the engine says it's about equal. Now it actually gives Anish a slight advantage. Very slight. And this pawn, which is either queening or it's going to hang, the engine says, yeah, that pawn's not going to queen. So it plays queen a2, that way the a pawn has some more room, and the queen is putting pressure on d5. And it says black has a tiny advantage. And Anish is like, no, 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 no. There's no tiny advantage of this game. Draw. And so he tried to figure out how to trade more pieces. Play e4. Perfect. You see this? This ensures there will be extra trades. Okay. And this is why we tried to hire Anish here at the chess center. Because he really knows how to clean it up. But okay. He said no. All right. So they traded everything. Always trade everything. And now white's up a pawn, but it's symbolic. The engine says everything draws. Because all these pawns are hanging. So he played rook here. He wants to take the knight. If the knight moves away, he wants to take the pawn. Okay, Magnus played a slightly tricky move. And this is very funny... Um, discussion that was had after the game by Magnus Anish. Um, they were talking after the game and when they got to the studio, Maurice asked Magnus, what were you guys talking about? And then Magnus said, no talking. Okay. And Magnus told Maurice, we were talking about how smooth that draw was. No. Okay. And here's what they were talking about. They were talking about Instead of rook takes a8, which is an immediate draw, Anish claimed he could draw with rook f8. Okay? Which is a weird move. And now, white tries to win with knight c8, threatening knight e7 check, which wins. Okay? Now, a losing blunder, thanks for the, um, the subscription, Desert Fighting 
Fightning, Desert Foot, four, rawr, is after Knight takes D5, which is a blunder, Rook to D1, Anish explained to Magnus that Rook C4 draws. Okay, offering a draw. Man Moth 1990 subscribed. Now, actually, that move does draw, except it hangs mate in three. If it didn't hang mate in three, then it would draw. So he didn't see the mate in three. And then Magnus showed him 97 check, triple X clam. It's mate in three, so it's triple. And obviously, if King H8, then mate. And if knight takes, then there's this cute mate. Okay. Which Anish didn't see and almost fell for. Now, obviously, maybe after rook d1, maybe in this position, he would have seen that knight takes d5 lost, and he could have tried to bail out. Either rook e8 or rook b7 has good drawing chances. But anyway, instead of rook f8, which is a blunder, Anish did some more vacuuming. Okay, and we got this, you know, dead draw in position. Yeah. And rook d1, if the knight moves, there's a back rank mate, but obviously there's rook b8. Okay. And you're not allowed to agree to a draw, but you're allowed to claim a draw by repetition. So when the players look at each other and they give themselves, you know, the winking, which in Anisha's case could be mistaken for something else, but usually means draw. Then they just do some fake repetition. Yeah. And then they claim a draw. And here the... White claimed to draw, and the arbiter said, okay. So anyway, that was a boring game. But as you can all see, Magnus is on the way down, and Anish is still drawing all of his games. So it's an unfortunate time to be a chess fan because there's not really a best player in the world anymore. Suwai Betovic just subscribed on a one-month streak. I streaked for one month once, but it was really cold out, so I had to stop. Okay, so that was round one. That was one of the most boring games of the tournament, except for the game that actually was prearranged. Most of what I said before was a joke. I mean, not the stuff about Magnus being no good anymore. The stuff about the prearranged, yeah, that. But the actual prearranged draw by the two players who always prearrange their draws when they play each other are Kayakin and Mamajarov. Okay, they pretend to play, but they're just kidding. Just kidding. All right, so let's go have a look at, uh, let's do the Americans, if you can call them that. Nakamura and Karyuawana. Karmiawana? No, Karyuawana. Okay, and then I'm going to ask for clarification from Yes on how to pronounce these names. I need clarification. Okay, I can delete this. Yeah, I don't need that. And then my monitor keeps stopping working, so. I guess I can't watch my own stream. Frankly, terrible. Let's see, I'm getting a text. Magnus is like, stop being mean. Too bad. Let's see, what is this email? Oh, not that email again. All right. Uh, admit nothing. Auto chess. Magnus is the best player in history. Yeah, that's funny. That's funnier than most of my jokes. Um... Magnus is okay. Magnus is the best player in his chair. Uh, Feingold Nizhnik. Go Feingold. I forgot who won that game. Um, thought you had a stroke when Nepo blundered. What? Why are there so many rich people? Correct. Man, those rich people aren't donating to my stream. Boo. Is that saying boo or boo earns? Um, Ben is better than Magnus. Well, obviously. Frankly. Okay, so this is the game Nakamura versus Fabiano Caruana. Nakamura, as is well known, is the worst openings player in the world of the top players in the world, if you consider him a top player in the world still. But he's very good at online bullet. So, yeah. Opening preparation is very suspicious. And I know, because my opening preparation is much more suspicious than Naka's. If you thought Naka's openings were bad, take a look at mine. So I know. Now we just had 20 gift sub from Pantaglion. Pantaglion. He's the best person in his chair. Go Pantaglion. Much better than Magnus, because Magnus didn't donate any subs. 
Man, I want to see who's getting donated, but my monitor keeps messing up. Damn. Terrible, frankly. Um, yay, 20 subs. So many subs. Yeah. Hey, now we have 437 subscribers. 437 is my dad's birthday, April 1937. My monitor just keeps turning on and off. That's good. That's good monitor. Well, makes it hard to watch the chat. Um, yay, Karen says, yay. Where's Karen? Are you even here? Oh, yeah, the, the monitor just goes off and on every like eight seconds. Yeah. That's good. That makes it easy to read the chat. I'm like, and this guy's sad, and then it's all black. What's that? Nothing's happening. I'm, you know, things aren't plugged in good, I guess. Let's go over here. Plug this in some more. All right. Now it's really plugged in or something. I don't know. All right. Um, yeah, the HDMI cable's in good shape. Maybe we should change the HDMI cable because I spilled Perry on the table. All right. Have you tried turning it off and on again? That's actually how I fixed it the first time. Um, did you ever raise bicycles? Good question. Um, do you know the name of Homer? Well, I used to know his name. I went on an odyssey and then I went on an Iliad and then I gave up. <sighs> yeah, the problem was... Um, the monitor did play F6 and I said, bad monitor, never play F6. And then the monitor, now, since I like pretended to fix the monitor, it works. I just had to pretend. All right, let's get 63 more subs. So we have 500 subs. Then Mubak can say something else. No, it's working now. I fixed it. Okay. Now Nakamura normally doesn't win any slow games. And in fact, I don't think Nakamura's won a slow game in a year. Yeah, I don't think Nakamura's won a slow game in 2019. He's won some blitz games, but I don't think he's won any slow games. Chess.com events is rating me with a party of 534. Yay, Yay go Chess.com events. Yay. Also, boo. Okay. Giving me this crappy monitor. Yeah. All right. Didn't he win the U.S. championship? I don't know. I don't think he won any games, though. I think every game was a draw, and he won on tie breaks. So I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah. Um, let's see. The monitor's going to explode with C4. Ch ben Feingold, I need your email address. You need it. It's gmfeingold at gmail.com. GMFeingold at gmail.com or GMFeingold at atlchessclub.com and or. Um, frankly, Hikaru, I can't read all that. Yeah. Okay. So um, normally in the Singfield Cup, Hikaru doesn't win any games, but sometimes he can avoid last. He's not going to avoid last this tournament, but he can try. Okay. So he has the white pieces. And the last time he had white against Fabi, he didn't do very well. And that was in the, the Rapid and Blitz last week. Let's find out how he's going to do this game. Now, they played a Rui Lopez. And instead of playing the Berlin, Fabi played these slightly unusual at this level. Uh, open Sicilian. I mean, open Rui. Chess.com events rated again, even though it already happened. Okay. So it's an open Rui. A good choice against Naka since Naka's not well prepared in the opening, like a 2800 should be, that's why his rating went down. Okay, so they played the main line, D4. And now, obviously, and frankly, the monitor went off again. Damn. Maybe because it's dripping water. Well, that is a good reason. Yeah, there's water coming from the monitor. Damn. Yeah, it doesn't like Perrier. I don't know. Okay, and usually... D5 is played here, but instead he played bishop e7, confusing. Is this just dripped down? Yeah. Oh, oh, I guess it did. I don't know where it's going. I mean, I spilled water. I spilled period everywhere. I mean, I was, I was wet under here. 
Yeah. On the bottom of this. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, it says it's broken forever. Put the monitor in a bathtub. That is a good idea. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Morphe was better than Carlson, but Carlson is misspelled. So that's probably why. Yeah. Okay. So Naka played rookie one. And then after B5, I'm already confused. Okay, I've never seen this position before. It's like an open Rui and a Berlin and like three other openings mixed into one. Okay, so this is all theory. This is the computer recommendation. Then D5. So Black's down a piece, but he's threatening everything. Go Fabi. Okay, 95. This is the computer recommendation. And we get a position where Black has a terrible pawn structure, but he's got the two bishops. Two bishops. Now here... The engine says three moves are equally good. C4, explosive. Knight C3, attacking all the pawns. And the move that he actually played, B3. You got to B3. Okay, and obviously, if white could move again, he might play bishop A3. That could be annoying. The point of B3. Okay, the engine castles, but Fabi played bishop E6 which is also okay. Now the problem with the two bishops is this bishop's not very good. I mean, he can't go to h3, can't go to g4, can't go to f5, and bishop's all right. Okay, and then bishop a3. White doesn't want to have black to have the two bishops. He wants him to have this silly bishop blocked by all of his pawns. As Lisa Simpson once said famously, a blockaded bishop is of little value. Okay, then they traded. Always trade. Okay, now, a lot of you know Greg Shahadi, my condolences, and most of you know his sister, Jennifer Shahadi. Okay, now, many years ago, before some of you were born, even though it was like six years ago, there was an article in Chess Life Online, which is edited by Jen Shahadi. She runs Chess Life Online. There was an article by Greg Shahadi. Okay, it's like the Trump family, except slightly less crazy, slightly, okay, slightly less criminal. And Greg Shahadi wrote an article, Knight B1 exclam. Oh, okay, I agree. And Naka must have seen that article. Not only is it a good move, the computer says it's the best move. And the knight has no future here. Okay, now you guys should understand that at home because it has no future. That should be something you guys understand. Now, when you have no future, trying to get out of your conundrum and getting a future, that's something you don't, so you don't get knight b1. And that's what Naka played. Okay. Now, another reason knight b1 is good is it sets up for the next game. So that's another good point. Obviously, the knight has greener pastures, unless I make them blue, then it has blue pastures. Okay. You agree, Karen? Nothing. Okay, if you want greener pastures, that's Perrier. Okay, it destroys my stream, but it's still funny. I do like the tournament. Yay. Yeah, our tournament had 58 players today in the kids' tournament. It's pretty good. So the knight can go to C3 or D2 and go to better squares. Okay, so he played queen to D6, knight C3, attacking the pawn for real. Little trade. And now... Normally, when you're worse, which obviously black is here, black has a much worse pawn structure, you trade all the pieces and draw, okay? That's why lately Fabiano's been working with Anish Giri to learn how to do that. He's like, Anish, oh man, it did it again. Reader, it's turning the reader on. Don't do that. Look here, quick, quick. This is what it did before. Just all of a sudden it does that. I think I can fix it with this. Fixed. Oh. That's how I fixed it before. Oh, I keep accidentally getting on there. Yeah. Accidentally on purpose. No. Yeah. All right. So then this thing won't go away. Darn. All right. Well, no, it's good now. Yeah, but I can't, I'm trying to get it to go away. Um, I'm trying to exit it out. Yeah. Can't do it. Where? That's strange. 
That's good because I can't see me. That gets rid of some of the ugly. But I can see your arm. That's pretty good. Yay, fixed. <laughs> I don't know. That's... What happened there? Oh, that got pulled out a little. Oh. Yay. Hey, by f breaking it, I fixed it. Okay. I think it's fine now. Well, yeah, for the next minute. Oh, it keeps doing that? Well, it will. All right. Yeah. Now, as I was saying, Fabiano was like, how do I trade? Now, some of the arbiters were telling me that Fabiano and Geary kept going into the confessional box together. I don't think Sopico was too happy about that. But anyway, so then he's like, dude, how do I trade everything? Oh, C5. There we go. Okay, and obviously you can't take on C5 because your rook's hanging. Okay, so no, that was a typo. So he played knight E2 because he has to move his knight a lot. Okay, Naka likes his knight. Got to move that knight. Okay, F6. And as Fabiano played F6, before he hit the clock, he put his hand out to resign because he played F6. And Naka thought he was offering a draw and instead of accepting the resignation, just played Rook E3, not allowing Fabi to resign. Okay, and Fabi's like, oh, I don't have to resign. C4 is explosive. Okay, so he sort of self-corrected his F6 blunder with the move C4, and now he's back in the game. Okay, now here, Anish Giri was pretty upset. Okay, he was sure that White should take on C4 to continue the trading. And in fact, the engine does take on C4, and that's what White should have done, because then after takes, White has a pass D pawn, and White has access to the E4 square. But instead, after knight G3, Fabi just took... And now there's no pass pawns. The pawn structure is the same. And the knight has got no, nowhere to go. There's nothing good to do. And now it's just equal. So knight g3 wasn't a good move from Naka. Fabi played g6. I'm not super impressed with that move. But all right. It's still, it's still about equal. Okay. Then it was the boring world of Niels Bohr. Trade, 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 trade. Yawn, yawn fest. Always trade. Bo the boring world of Niels Bohr. Okay, everybody trades. Yeah, etc. Mainly etc. And now this pawn might be lost. And this pawn might be lost. That's so still going to be a draw. Always repeat. They went back. Yep. And then they repeated. So even though there's a no draw rule in this tournament, 11 of the 12 games were drawn. Now, if you don't like draws, I'm not saying you don't, maybe you do. If you don't like draws, they should invite me to the tournament. I will have no draws. And the truth hurts. I don't know if he wins either. but Okay, so this game, Naka had a nice advantage at some point, but Fabi kept trading, 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 and it just petered out to a draw. And obviously Naka didn't want to lose this pawn or this pawn, so they had to repeat. All these pawns are weak. Okay, so that game had a fair result of a draw, but Naka was pressing. So he could have gone for more. All right. The next game was also a draw between two players that Spencer thinks draw too much, Ding Lirin and Wesley So. In fact, most of the players in the tournament Spencer thinks have too many draws. He wants to see other players invited who don't draw very much. It's hard to argue with Spencer since 11 of the 12 games were drawn. So I don't know. And of course, in the Rapid and Blitz, when they play less opening theory and they play more quickly and they blunder more and there's more games, then there's fewer draws. So I guess from a spectator point of view, if you want to see excitement, you want to see Rapid and Blitz. If you want to see the highest level of moves played, then you want to see as slow as possible. One could argue that if you want to see slow chess, but you want to see lots of wins and losses, you just have to go down a level. Just watch me play. Okay, I don't have any draws because my moves are no good and my opponent's moves are no good. You could go down further levels and watch you guys play. Now, you guys have more draws 
Because you guys are like, oh no, I'm probably going to lose. I'm no good. Let's both offer a draw. So a lot of low-rated players offer draws every move. All they do is offer draws. And I'm like, why'd you offer a draw? And they're like, oh, I'm going to lose if I don't offer a draw. Okay. And today in a tournament, there was a kid's tournament where the average kid is like 300. And I said, how did you draw? And the guy says, oh yeah, I have to draw. That way I don't lose. Okay, that was his attitude. So I tell all of my students, don't offer draws and don't take draws. None of my students listen to me, so I stop teaching. So I don't teach chess anymore. 500 cents to do is draw like a grandmaster. Now, when I draw, the tournament's over. I played in Foxwoods. I drew the last round. My opponent offered me a draw every move. When I played in a World Open, I drew in round seven in a 93-move game, so I withdrew. No draws. Rawr. Okay. Now, unfortunately, when some of the top players draw, as somebody in the chat pointed out, doesn't matter if it's a draw as long as it's exciting. That's correct. And my games that are draws are exciting because both sides are winning and we blunder every move and then we draw. And the games I've shown you so far is who can trade the most and repeat the quickest. The top players are very scared nowadays. They don't want to lose their rating. If they're rated 2780, they don't want to be rated 2750 because then they won't get invited to these tournaments anymore. So they want to keep in their closed system. There's no entropy. It's a closed system. Oh, then there is entropy. Okay, because it's powered by the sun. Hey, Doomsday, get me my gun. All right. So, and all my shootings be drive-bys. So you... you with the closed system that chess is, where they don't let anybody play except the same 10, 20 players, the ratings never change. And then Magnus wins all the tournaments by half a point, and you guys bow down to Magnus. Instead, if they let other players play who were interesting, like Nisi Pianu and Nadich and some of the guys who played in the Rapid and Blitz, then we would be getting somewhere. Okay, Then we would get lots of changes in the rate. But the top players don't want that. They want to keep their cush jobs. So there's a lot of draws. There's a lot of boring play. And organizers don't do a lot to change that. Organizers want the best players to play. And when we have a tournament here at our chess center, we would like the best players to play. We don't care if they draw or not. But I want Zapata to play and Deepak Aaron and Ben Moon and uh, Carlos Perdomo and uh, Daniel Gurevich, those are the best players in Georgia. We want them to play in our tournaments, okay? Those guys don't usually play here. We get Rufus and Doofus, and Rufus and Doofus don't draw very much because all their moves are blunders. Then occasionally, Zapata plays or Deepak Aaron, and then they get first place, okay? Now, next month, we're having our birthday bash, September 13th and 14th here at the Chess Center, First prize is eleven hundred guaranteed. All our prizes are guaranteed in all our tournaments, and forty five hundred dollars total. So we'll get some good players, and we'll see some beatdowns. In fact, in the last round of our tournament a year ago, Zapata lost to El Shamor Diabati in the last round. And when the game was over, he said, "I want to sing a song." And I was like, "You want to sing a song?" And he said, "I ain't got more Diabati." Nobody can beat me. Nobody. And then Alonzo wanted to do Viva Zapata. And I'm like, that's enough. All right. Anyway, that was good chess analysis. Let's get back to the game. We got Dingler in versus Wesley So. This game is so boring. Niels Bohr changed his name. Rufus and Doofus is now, is now hosting me somehow. We have 662 viewer dues. We got to show them some commercials. Go Moobot. Show 60 seconds of commercials. Now, if you don't want to watch commercials, then you should subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, then one of you Richies out there has to donate 50 subs. Okay? And send a couple to me because I didn't have dinner yet. Um, Magnus doesn't have the most draws of any GM ever. That would be Anish Giri. But you're close, close. Yeah, Richard Rapport is pretty good. Go Richard Rapport. 
Yeah, the players like him. They always have a nice rapport with him. Okay, so back to back to Dingler and Wesley So. They transposed into some kind of Catalan. Okay, and this is the main, main, main position of the Catalan. And Wesley has white and black in this position, usually not in the same time, usually. Okay, and white played the most common move. Queen C2, A6, and you can play Queen C4 or A4. They're both played quite often. He played A4, which is fine. And now most grandmasters play Bishop D7, Bishop C6, A5, and then we both fall asleep. Wesley played a line I'm not very familiar with, C5. Okay, and Wesley is probably the world's leading authority on the Catalan, playing it with both sides very often. Okay, now again, this is the Singfield Cup, and these players like to draw, so got to start trading. And these are two of the most drawiest players. So, all right. Now, in the Catalan, the only problem black has is this bishop on c8. Boo! So we have to rectify that. Got to play bishop b7 with total equality. Before he plays bishop b7, white stops bishop b7 and threatens the rook. Obviously, rook a7. Now the knight is ready to be traded. Knight d7. Okay, trade the knight. So he played knight d3. Now, I think I missed a sub earlier because I was too busy singing and making bad jokes. Press to J subscribed. Yay. Thank you, Press to J. You're the best person who ever lived. Maybe my standards are too low. Um, and then we just got another subscription from McJurgle, who actually gifted subs to Patrick Atang. He's Atang. All right. Well, I just got a text. Uh, Magnus agreed to a draw in his next seven games. Wow, that's crazy. All right. Okay, now the engine wants to play bishop b7 in trade, but you got to save your bishop on c5. Okay, now we trade. Now we're talking. Yay. Everybody's trading. All right, knight here, trade some more. Bishop here, trade some more. Yay, every piece is off the board. Yay, let's trade some more. Yay. All right. Every move is a trade. We love it. All right. And completely equal position. No possible winning chances for everybody because it's a trade. Knight f4 confusing the audience. What a crazy move. The engine actually doesn't like that move. It says that white's slightly better now. Okay, but still it's uh, trading all the pieces off. Wesley couldn't help it. He had to make a move that traded all the pieces. Okay. And the engine doesn't like that. It says rook bb8 defending the back rank or queen d6. But okay, this move's okay. Now, obviously, we're attacking the queen. So he has to play queen takes f4. And now the rook is defended by the knight. So rook takes d3. And now the rook is hanging. And now uh, Ding Lorin played a move that the engine doesn't like. It claims white has the advantage by taking the rook, taking the rook, and then taking on a6. And you can't take the pawn on b2 because of back rank mate. And in that situation, white would just be up a pawn with excellent winning chances. And I'm not sure why Wesley went into that or why Ding didn't go into it. Pretty obvious. Take this, take this, white's up a pawn. Now again, the players don't want to win, they want to draw. So maybe E takes his winning. So he's like, whoa, 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 can't do that. So Rick C8 check, trade more pieces. There we go. Okay. And this is just completely equal position instead of being up a pawn, which is a very strange decision. Seems like being up a pawn would be good. And this is just completely drawn with no chances for either side to win. And they're not allowed to agree to a draw as I said earlier, so they have to make a fake repetition so that way they can claim a draw. Okay. And here, black, so you play king g6 and claim a draw. So that was unfortunate because in one of the many trade sequences initiated by Wesley, knight f4, that really didn't work. And for some reason, Ding didn't just take the free pawn. 
Okay, let's go back. In this position, white's just a pawn up. Take the rook, take the rook, take the pawn. White's up a pawn. White has a passed B pawn. White's threatening rook A8, which is going to be mate. Black has to make luft here, G6 or F6 or something. We defend our pawn, either with our queen probably, and white's up a pawn with excellent winning chances. No reason not to do that. Don't know why he didn't do it. Don't know. I mean, just really good for white. No risk. So, very strange from both players. Frankly, terrible. You can hold the B pawn for as long as you want. The thing is, if somehow you can't hold the B pawn, then it's a draw. If you can't hold the B pawn, then you're up a B pawn. So... White not doing this was made no sense. He went to a dead equal position instead of one where he might win. Yeah. Let's see. The chat says blah, 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 blah. Very good. All right. Anyway, let's thank Pentaglion again for the subs. That was great. Okay. So we got three draws down, eight to go. Now we have MVL Black against Levon Aronian. Okay, Laura Brannigan's favorite player, Aronian. Aronian, da da da. I think he's gonna draw now. All right. Nobody in the chat's heard of Laura Brannigan, unfortunately. Okay, maybe it's fortunate. Yeah, she actually died of like a brain aneurysm. She was in her 40s. Yeah, truth hurts. Okay. Um, lose rating when you draw. Exactly. Okay. Also, her remake of Aronian is Azoria. Azoria. Nobody's heard of him. All right. Now, Levon's white. And we were pretty sure this game was going to be a draw when we got a tweet from Elton John. And he said he, he shall be Levon and he shall draw a good game. Wasn't that good. Okay. So he's playing MVL. And Levon has white. And he avoided the Grunfeld by playing the very suspicious Knight BD2. Frankly, suspicious. Frankly. Okay, terrible. Um, Zap Brannigan's mom, correct. Well, maybe not correct. Okay, so this avoids the Grunfeld, but he played the Grunfeld anyway, D5. All right. E3, and now the point of this to prevent c5, b4. Very similar to the game Ready beat Capablanca breaking his streak because he played b4. All right, now don't try this at home because b4 is usually not, you know, that's not a move you want to play in the opening unless you're Kokomo or something. Okay, a5 threatening the pawn. b5, c5. Okay, it's the, it's the fourth rank. Okay, and he takes on passant, knowing the on passant rule. Knight takes. And black is equalized pretty easily. Pretty boring position. Okay, and here, if you want to get any kind of advantage, your only hope is c4. You got to play c4 now or play it later, but he played c3, after which I was PO'd. Terrible. And this is just so boring. Ugh. Now, MVL... Having already played c5, can't play c5 again. And if you're a student of my son Spencer, you probably are. Spencer does a lot of videos, does a lot of, has a lot of chess lessons. He talks a lot about pawn breaks. And one of the pawn breaks that Black already achieved was c5. Well, we can't play c5 again, so we got to play for e5. In this position, e5 is not sufficiently protected, so he played queen c7. He's connecting his rooks. He's protecting e5 to play e5 later. And he's sort of on the c pawn too. So queen c7 is a good move. a4 is a good move. Solidifying control of the b5 square. Making this pawn fixed. Good move, good move. e5, of course, as already a4 mentioned. Already a4 mentioned. Then bishop a3 attacking the rook. Rook c8. Rook c1. And now, Black made a decision you can't take back. Okay, 
And the engine says it's fine, but it's a little bit of a scary decision. He played e4. Very aggressive, gaining a lot of space. But now the center's fixed, so white's going to try to play c4 at some point and destroy the center. Although e4 is pretty aggressive, gains a lot of space. We have sort of a reversed advanced French confusing the audience. Knight h4, always retreat. Obviously, MVL's French, so he knows how to retreat. Now, if white does Vishwa nothing, like if Anand was white, black would play g5 and the knight is trapped. So Aronian had to do Vishwa something, so he played g3. Now he's ready to retreat, taking a page out of MVL's book, learning how to retreat. g5, knight g2, fiancadoing his knight, and now queen d7. So here comes MVL. He's going to attack. Okay, something French aren't known for. Okay, attack. But MVL likes to attack. He wants to play aggressively. Okay, now here, once again, the game almost ended, but somehow they kept playing because they're good friends. Uh, Levon made a move. I, I can't look. I, I can't see what he did. Where's, where's my mouse? All right, hold on, let me. Okay, there's the ear. Okay. Oh, I can hear it. No, I can hear what he did. Boo! Boo! Terrible. F3. Never play F3. Now, F3 was more or less forced because that pawn's annoying. I mean, that pawn is a thorn in the center. Terrible. Okay. Anyway, after F3, you have to take on F3. I take you. You take me. Why did he play F3? And now the bishop went back to F5 because now we have a nice diagonal. Okay, queen B3. Bishop attacks the rook. The rook moves away. Queen e6. The engine just says it's equal. Okay. And in this position, the players are trying to figure out how to draw because they don't want to lose any rating points. And since they're 27, 2800, they, they did a really nice job. They figured out how to repeat in this position. So you guys aren't good at that. Now, c5 was a weak square. White might have played knight b3 to c5. And MVL said, no, c'est pas possible maintenant. And then Arodian said, quoi? And he played knight f1 with a discovered attack on the bishop. The bishop moved away. Then he attacked the bishop again, and the players repeated. Now, the engine prefers black, since white has all these suspicious pawns. And after knight f1, just plays bishop g6 and says black is better. Although drawing with black very easily is nice in this tournament because, you know, you're trying to win with white and draw with black. In theory. In theory, communism works. So, all right. So that game was also a draw, although there was no reason for that. They could have both played on. Okay. Neither player thought they had an advantage. The engine thinks black is better. Okay. Now we're going to get to the only decisive game in the event. And the game was decisive because of a one-move blunder. And Anand, half-jokingly, maybe, maybe he wasn't joking. Most people think he was joking. He said, this game would have been a draw in another tournament because I would have offered a draw 10 moves before I won, but you're not allowed to offer a draw this tournament. And actually, that happened to me. I was playing in the U.S. Championship, and the rule was, you couldn't offer a draw before move 30, but of course you could repeat and draw because claim a draw. Well, Shabalov misunderstood the rule and he thought before move 30, you couldn't just repeat and agree to a draw. So we were playing and he thought he was worse if he didn't repeat, but he thought he wasn't allowed to. So we were repeating and he did something. He said, if we were playing another try, I just would have agreed to a draw, but I thought I wasn't allowed to. And then he ended up winning. I blundered in time trouble. Only game I lost to the tournament. Boo! Okay. Although, yeah, I always lose to Shabalov. I don't know why he wanted to draw me. Okay. So Anand's like, draws aren't allowed, so I guess I'll win. But he was against it. He fought tooth and nail, but he had to win anyway. Okay. Petrosian rolling over in his grave. Terrible. What's the point of even playing? Good point. 
Uh, cowards, the lot of them. Very good. Okay, so Nepo's white, and they played this very interesting English. And I've had black in this position before, and I'm going to give you guys a treat today. I'm going to show you something funny. In this position, which I've had black many times when I used to play this with black, I don't play e5 against the English anymore, but I used to play e5 bishop b4. And against knight d5, I always played bishop c5, although um, bishop e7 seems like it's more common now. And that was what he played. And I had a very funny game um, with Zorab Azmai Parashvili, if you can call him that. And against Zorab, um, he played queen b3 and then knight d5 and then queen g3. And I played bishop f8. This is a like game in two hours in, the, in, in, in Belgium around 1988 and 89. And he played f4 and... Zorab, after the game, told me he analyzed this with Kasparov, and Kasparov said after f4, white's doing well. Okay, although this is all nonsense. This is good for black. Okay, but anyway, my monitor's turning on and off now, which is funny. Anyway, the reason I'm showing you this is because I thought of a very inventive way to play here for black. It's not good, but it's inventive. I played knight f6. And we got this very funny position. This is actually the game. Okay. And the point is, after queen, well, I'm, I'm threatening these two. This engine is playing king f2 and rook b1 here. But he played queen b3. And now I play queen h4 check. If he plays g3, I attack this rook and I threaten this rook. So here black's probably winning. So he played king to d1. This is actually my game with Esmai Parashvili from over 30 years ago. And the game ended in a draw. I think I did play queen e4. That's what the engine move. I think I did play that. Ah, this stupid thing is breaking again. All right. Fixed. Let's see. Let's take this out. Put it back in. That's what she said. All right. Was it, was it good for you too? All right. Breaking everything. All right. You're from a broken home, of course. Yeah, we was broke, so what? Let's get rid of this. And then let's just forget about it. Okay. So this is a game I played over 30 years ago, which ended in a very long, drawn, a rook and pawn ending. I think I was worse most of the game. All right. Um, the engine says black is very, 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 very slightly better here. All right. Now, uh, the main line right now is bishop e7. That's what Anand played. Again, this is Nipo versus Anand. And it's not, not super exciting. He actually retreated, avoiding trading pieces. Crazy. How could he avoid trading pieces? That's, that's nuts. Okay, but Anand traded pieces, so that, that's better. This funny position, you, if you just show up now to my stream and see the board, you wouldn't guess... White's played knight c3, knight d5, knight c3. That seems unlikely. Okay, and black has played bishop b4, bishop e7. Okay, now obviously, if nobody does anything and we just develop normally, then white's better. White can fianchetto his bishop, and d5 is owned by white, and black's sort of passive. So Anand didn't want any of that, so he played d5. Now he's starting to trade. And if he can liquidate the center pawns, should be equal. Bishop f4 is a good move, developing the bishop. And maybe we're going to put a knight on b5. Scary. Castles, e3. And he was scared of that, so he played a6. Obviously, he'd like to play c5, but he has to deal with knight b5 then, with numerous threats. So he played a6, which is actually the computer move. And now he retreated again. And the engine says this is fine. He played knight f3, and this puts pressure on d5. Lots of stuff on d5. So again, if you're just watching the game, it's unlikely you would guess 
White played night here, night here, night back, night here, night here, night back. Everybody would be 2,800. That's what you got to do. That's why I'm not 2,800. Okay, I got to stream to you guys, if you can call yourself guys. Again, those of you who think there are ads, there are no ads. You just have to subscribe. Then there are no ads. Okay, or learn how ad blocker works. You're never going to do. Uh, let's see. USCF, YMCA, Bernie Sanders for president. Yay, go Bernie. I'm not voting for you, but go anyway. All right. Uh, oh, you donate once and then keep sending emails. See, my dad was a Democrat and he donated once to John McCain, probably because my dad's last name was Feingold. So, and I think for like 17 years, he got letters in the mail, donate to John McCain. Oh, the actual mail, stale mail. And I think Newman delivered the letters too. Terrible. All right. Now, if you watch Family Guy, there's the John McCain experience. And then Peter goes into a cage and goes, "Where I want to be president. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Uh, you got the McCain Feingold reference. Good. Unfortunately, uh, the, the Feingold in question for McCain Feingold, he spells his name differently than we do. So very confusing. Yeah. All right. We need 62 more view subscribers before the stream ends. All right. Anyway, with all the arrows on the board, obviously it's equal. Okay, the engine wants to develop a piece, but Vichy plays C6, and they trade a lot. Lots of trading. Trade, 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 trade. And now, the engine obviously says it's equal. This actually looks like a Bishop F4 QGD. It's not a Bishop F4 QGD, but it looks like one. Okay, he played Long Castle. Attacking the pawn in theory, but not in practice. Knight c6. And obviously, if you take the pawn, which he did not do, we can play bishop e6 with a skewer, or we can play knight b4 with a fork. So getting rid of the isolated pawn. So he just decided to trade pieces because it's the Singfield Cup. And the more pieces that are traded, the more advantageous it is for white because black has an isolated pawn. So black can play aggressively with his pawn, but in an ending with very few pieces on the board, his pawn's just weak. Okay, and again, I, I can't look. I, I can't see what he did. Ah, oh, did he do it? No, never play f6. Anand doesn't want to trade pieces, so he plays f6. And after bishop f4, because the players are very high rated, you can't do this at home, Anand actually went back to f7 with his pawn, and they repeated three times and agreed to a draw. Now, Anand would have done that if he could, but the arbiter said, no, you can't move your pawn backwards. Chris Bird's a 2,000 player. He knows which way the pawns move. Now, queenside castling, that confuses Chris a little bit. On Passant, he has to get another director. But moving pawns backwards, Chris Bird knows about that. Now, most of you know Chris Bird, and by most of you, I mean very few of you. And Chris Bird is also a soccer referee, okay? Unlike other British people I know who are soccer hooligans. So that's different. Okay. So Bishop E6, developing a piece. Always play King B1. King B1. And this is a very boring equal position. Nothing's going on. Nobody has an advantage. Nobody's trying to have an advantage. But they can't agree to a draw because the rules won't let them. Okay, so Anon plays G5. He's going for it. He's learned from, from Mama Jarov. You've got to play G5. All right. And that, of course, makes more exchanges. Got to exchange all the pieces. Always exchange all the pieces. And now we can exchange some more. Exchange some more pieces. Takes with check. Discover check. But this pawn is very weak. And the bishop is blocked. And the rook is almost trapped. So the engine says this is completely equal. Now in this position, the engine plays rook d1 defending the pawn. Then black plays knight e7. He can block with knight d5 
or play knight g6. And the computer just says it's equal. And instead of that, I, I can look at f3. And now the engine prefers black, j just slightly, just slightly. F3 is a strange move because Nepo doesn't try to defend his pawn. So after trading on F3, black gets his pawn back. And black's a little bit better because this knight is so good. That's a good knight. Okay, but it's a draw. It's just a draw. Okay. And, you know, nothing happened. Nothing happened. And normally a non would repeat because that's, and you got to repeat. But instead he played knight B3 and decided to play for the win. Here comes the rooks. Here comes the knight. It's still a draw, but, you know, he tried. Okay, bishop f2 is good. And Anon plays a very tricky move. Rook c4. The engine likes it. Forcing more trades. Okay, good, good. More trading. Obviously, black wants to play rook d2 check. So, d2. And still a draw. Everything's a draw. Everybody draws. It's better to be black, of course, because black has this nice king. But it's still a draw. Okay. Now, for some reason, instead of rook f5, he played rook f1. Eh, rook f1's not as good. Still a draw. King b1's good because king b1. I like that. All right. Now Anand has the advantage because his king is better than his opponent's. Good king. Better king. Not very exciting this game. Pretty boring. Better for black as black has a better king. Okay, trade some more. And now Anand's up a pawn. Is it enough to win? Eh, probably not. Time to trade some more. And the engine likes black, but that's because he's going to have rook and knight against rook, which is obviously a draw. But the engine still likes black because he has an extra knight. And Anand was fortunate in this ending, he was able to keep a pawn on the board, so he had some winning chances. Okay. Now, obviously, if these pawns are gone, this is just a draw. So the engine likes black a lot because it has a pawn, but it realizes after looking 10, 20, 30 moves ahead, the pawns are going to be traded. It's going to be rook and knight versus rook. That's a table-based position. That's a draw. So even though he's up a knight for nothing, for no pawns, if you let your engine run long enough, it just says draw. It says like 0.4 for black. You know, black has a symbolic advantage. Now, obviously, with the black king over here, we're not, we're not going to save these pawns. Okay. So he tries to win, but it's, it's just going to be a draw. And in this position, Nepo made one of the worst moves he's ever made. Maybe the worst move he's ever made. Okay. And he can force the trade of pawns now with the sort of obvious uh, king, king to uh, c5. Now, a6 is also a blunder because we play knight check and then we take with the pawn. So you can't do that. Okay. But king c5 is a draw. And I'll show you the computer line. King c5, the knight has to move somewhere. It doesn't matter where. I'm going to play a6 and trade the pawns off. Well, let's go here. I don't know. Um, and then king b6. You can't lose your pawn. So this is a draw by repetition. I could try knight c3. And once again, yeah, you're not getting anywhere. So king c5 is a draw. And I don't know, I don't know what he missed, um, Nepo. I was talking about it. There was a Fide master who visited our club today. And we were discussing what Nepo missed. He might have said so on the stream. I didn't see it. Because he played the worst move he's ever played in his life. King c4. Now, king c4 is a nonsensical move because if you, if, if you wanted to play a king attacking the knight, you would go to c5 so you can play king b6. So king c4 doesn't make any sense. I could just move my knight away. Now that's a draw because black has no winning chances. Black can't do anything. Now obviously he misunderstood the move b5 check. 
Now, I don't know what he misunderstood. He might have missed B5 check, like didn't see it at all. Or he saw B5 and didn't see knight takes switch check, and then he loses his rook. I don't know. I don't know. So either he totally missed B5, or he saw B5 takes and forgot knight takes was check. I'm not sure. So basically, there should be 12 draws in this tournament at 12 games. And the reason there's not 12 draws is Nepo hung a rook in one move and then resigned. What is he, you? Once again, anybody who's watching ads, that's your fault. There's no reason to watch ads. You just subscribe to the channel. You'll never watch an ad again. No reason to watch ads. So if you're watching ads, good, good. You deserve it. So, yeah, I'm not sure what that was all about. Normally when your rating is 2775 FIDE, you don't hang a rook in one move. On the other hand, if he plays a thousand moves, he might hang a rook in one move. So maybe in the next 20 or 30 games he plays, he won't hang anything. That was the, that was, you know, makes one blunder a tournament. Terrible. That's true. The ads are pretty good. Yeah. Except for empty way function. Yes, sir. Except for any. Yeah, exactly. The Fredo kind of move. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get rid of this guy. Eh, not you. Getting rid of the wrong guy. Where, where, where are my admins at? All right. Great. I love banning people. Um, I'm back. I just want to ban people. That's right. If you if you subscribe to my channel, you won't even have ads on your television. That's right. Yeah. Ban me, Mr. Feingold. All right. Is it Grandmaster Feingold? For not calling me Grandmaster. Yeah, you, you're banned. Okay. Who's the best basketball player ever? Uh, my screen went away. There it is. SJ Man subscribed. Yay. My, my back hurts. It's terrible. Um, best best basketball player ever is, uh, what's his name? Bill Russell. Yeah. I don't even think it's close. I think it's obviously Bill Russell. Yeah. Now, who's the most overrated basketball player ever? Let's see. We got uh, Allen Iverson. And then who's the other guy who's overrated? He's played for like 37 teams. Who's the guy I'm talking about? Man, the, 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 the monitor's just going crazy. Not Vince Carter. Nobody thinks he's good. Yeah, Carmelo Anthony. Yeah. Yeah, Zion Williamson's not going to be any good. Yeah. I don't know why people think he's going to be good. That's weird. Zion Williamson is going to be injured at least half his career. Like, at least. Yeah, Zion Williamson is like a bad version of Jamarcus Cousins. He's like... Reminds me of DeMarcus Cousins, but not as good. And he'll be injured just as much. So, yeah. Talk about a, a, a false hope. Man, Zion Williamson, terrible. Anyway, Co well, Kobe's overrated, but he's not as overrated as Carmelo Anthony or, or Allen Iverson. I'm going to go with Carmelo Anthony. Anybody? Anyone? Uh, Aaron Billen 7 subscribed. Oh, my God. The thing's just going crazy. Let's see. Color weakness. What? God, the computer's just going crazy. Unplug, plug it in. Fixed. And by fixed, not, not really. Yay. Is Westbrook overrated? Yeah. Let's see. I mean, Paul George isn't even good enough to be overrated. I mean, you know. Uh, what are the chances every game will be drawn and I'll win the tournament? That is funny. Probably about 0%, but still a funny question. Who's the dumbest basketball player ever? Man, that's I'm saying something. I mean, that's a big tie. Yeah. Yeah, Blake Griffin didn't pan out very good. No, Westbrook is, is obviously overrated. But, I mean, not like Allen Iverson. I mean, come on. Yeah, but Carmelo Anthony wins. Carmelo Anthony, you get the gold. Yeah. Along with your Olympic gold. 
Raj donated $5, offsetting the member discount. I'm not sure what that means, but thank you. Um, let's see. Paul Pierce. Yeah. Paul Pierce is also overrated, too. Yeah. I'll allow that. Man, Chris Paul's overrated. I forgot about him. Damn. You can't be more overrated than Carmelo Anthony, can you? Is it even possible to be more overrated than him? Man. I don't know. All right. Back to Vishwanathan. All right. That was the only decisive game. Let's see. What's this? $5. Great. Now I can go to the movies by myself. You guys know what movie that was from? All right. Next draw, I mean game. Karyaka Mamajarov. In solidarity with my GM brothers, I won't show that game since that game wasn't really played. That game was agreed drawn before the game. So we won't even show it. That seems like a good idea. Okay, now we're off to today. We've done yesterday. Yesterday, all these chess games seem so far away. Now Geary has no game to play. All right, uh, this is Vishwanathan versus Magnus Carlsen. Now, obviously they're going to draw, but we have to look at the game anyway. That's you know, what we have to do. Okay. Um, Magnus is black, and he actually went to the confessional during this game, and he said something funny. Uh, D4 is an interesting move, not one I'm familiar with. But they do get to trade a lot, so that's good. Yeah, so Magnus was in the confessional around now, and he said he's two moves away from castling. He says if you're one move away from castling, you're fine. If you're three moves away, that's bad. Two moves away, nobody knows. As long as he castles, he's fine. Okay, and then after he left the confessional, the Indigo girls came into the confessional and said Magnus was closer to fine. So... That was a weird comment, I thought. Maybe they meant Ruben Fine. Hmm. God, who on my stream can get that joke? Not like three of you can get it, I guess. Okay. So, in this position, once again, I have to look away. Magnus played F6. Boo! Even the engine says boo. The engine says that's terrible. Okay, and of course, Anand played a very interesting way since the bishop on g7 isn't active anymore. Now, why did he play bishop f6? Obviously, since Vichy played rook e1, he's ready for e5, especially after knight f6. And in fact, that's one of the engine lines is knight f6, e5. And he's like, well, you're not going to play e5. No e5 for you. But now the bishop is blocked. So Vichy decided to push all his pawns over here. So he started with a3 to play b4. Obviously, knight h6. There is no other square for the knight. b4. And now he played the very interesting queen h5. The engine agrees. Well, that's a very scary move to play because your queen could get in trouble. c4, which is explosive. And finally, he castled. And the engine prefers white slightly, just slightly. Black has the two bishops. Black finally castled. Black has f7 for his knight. Lots of potential pawn breaks everywhere. Black's doing fine. Okay, Vichy played queen a4, threatening the pawn. All right. Bishop d7. Knife f1. Call that a knife? Not a bad move. Knife f7. Everybody's retreating, so I'm not going to complain. Knight g3. Magnus got his queen trapped, and he resigned. Go, Vichy. Oh, no, wait a minute. Now, what's funny about this is there is only one square for the queen. Okay, Vichy took care of all these other squares. All right? You, you can't go Vishwa anywhere. Okay, but queen g4. And the queen can escape, and you can't win the queen. That's just the way it goes. Okay, now I showed this position to Janet Jackson, and I said, Janet, isn't white winning? And she said, no. And I said, but, but the queen, but, but. And she said, 
that's the way chess goes. That's the way chess goes. That's the way chess goes. So I was like, all right. Also, we sang that song at karaoke last night. Well, I didn't. All right, so I would still play H3, and that's your queen e6. White has Vishwanathan, which he's used to because that's his name. Instead, he played c5. The engine says that move is also okay. We're trying to isolate this pawn, block this pawn, etc. And now, uh, uh, Magnus played the only good move. Okay, because the queen's getting sort of funny over here, and not much space for black. He played e5. Now when the queen goes to e6, it's very safe. There's no knight d4, nothing. Okay, and now we, we get a symmetrical pawn structure with all the trades. Takes on d6. Instead of taking back, he plays c5, attacking the queen, trying to exchange more pawns, and he was successful. Everybody trades everything. All moves are trades. And there's no way to hold this pawn. That pawn, that pawn's a goner. Rook d8, bishop f8. These knights aren't very good. They can't go Vishwa nowhere. N nothing. They're nothing. So the game is the game is just a draw. Everybody trades everything. Yep. Yeah, they, they trade all the pieces off. What are you gonna do? And they can't agree to a draw. So they have to find some repetition somehow. That's a repetition. Okay, then they agreed to a draw. So again, as with most of the games in this tournament, white gets a tiny advantage. Nothing much is happening. The board is vacuumed. Draw agreed. What can I tell you? Okay, and according to Spencer, the reason for this, see, you guys have a different reason than people like me and Spencer, if you can call me and Spencer people. Now, let's go to Raj, for example, the guy who donated $5. If I say, Raj, why are all these games draws? Then Raj will say, these guys play just like the computer, every move's perfect, all zeros the whole game, draw. Okay, some truth to that, not much. And if you ask Spencer, you'll get more truth, which is these players, they like drawing. So they make the game a draw. They get positions where every move is all zeros. They trade all the pieces off. They make it so they can't blunder. Now in the Blitz and Rapid, and in Bullet Chess, obviously, the positions make no sense and there's no time on the clock. Blunder, blunder, blunder. Sometimes big blunders, like unspeakable. At this level, you're not seeing a lot of unspeakable blunders, except when Nepo blundered a rook in one move. And so if the players want to, they can play wild and crazy and flip the coin and hope that they win, or they can draw all of their games, hope that they're playing Nepo, Nepo blunders, and they win. Now, when I say Nepo, I don't mean Nepo. I mean anybody. So basically, draw all of your games, and hopefully two or three of your opponents give you the game. Like, oh, blunder, I resign. As opposed to the way Kasparov and Morphe did it in Fisher, which was win, 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 cause problems for the opponents, make the board a mess, make complications, outplay your opponent, outprepare them, trick them, do anything to win. Players today, they might do that in Blitz and Rapid, but in Slow Chess, if any of these players, with the possible exception of Magnus, possible exception now, has eight draws and a win, they'll be very happy. They'll take that score. Eight draws and a win, they'll take it. People like Fisher, Kasparov, and Morphy, if they had eight draws and a win, they would retire from chess. Okay, these players, eight draws and a win, that's like the, the Mona Lisa of their career. They're like, wow, I didn't lose any games. I got a plus score. I came in second place. I mean, they can't even believe it. So that's unfortunate that the players can play so much opening theory, trade all the pieces off, and in a four or five hour game, it's still all draws. Now, obviously, if the games are exciting, they're exciting, but they're not. And when you have 12 games in the first two rounds 
and 11 of them are draws, that's what people complain about. Now, to be honest, I don't care. If every game is a draw, that's fine with me. What I don't like is when it's all trades every move. If it's a 70-move draw and the computer says this, that's fine. And in the World Championship between Magnus and Fabi that had 12 draws, like six of the games, I would say, were pretty good. Like this. And maybe three or four were just trade fests. Okay? And in this tournament of the 11 draws, probably like eight of them are just trade fests. Trade, 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 draw, agreed. And they would have agreed to a draw earlier, but they weren't allowed to. Now, according to Spencer, what's the problem? The problem isn't that the players are too good. That's what they'll lead you to believe. I'm really good. That guy's really good. We draw all the time. Spencer thinks the problem is the players don't mind drawing. Let's get some other players in there. Let's get Rapor in there. Let's get Duda in there. Let's get Joe Bava in there, etc. Okay, guys who don't mind losing. Guys that'll spice it up. We'll see more wins. Now, again, if you don't like draws, just invite me. There won't be any draws. I'll get pounded to the ground. Every game I blunder everything, okay? Then you won't see any draws. That's a little silly, and I'm half kidding, but I'll take the prize money. Um, Capablanca, blah, blah, blah. Fisher, blah, blah, blah. Shankland, keeping it real. Well, that's true. Yeah. No, but I mean, even if we make fun of the players and we say we're protecting their rating and they're drawing too much, I you can't blame them. What do you want them to do? You want, you want them to be 27-30 and not get invited anymore? Let's say you were a millionaire. You. Let that sink in for a second. Okay, now let's say, for reasons I don't understand, you decided you're going to organize chess tournaments with your millions. All right, we got all that. So we got two things that can't possibly happen, and we're making them happen. And you're inviting all the best players in the world to your tournament. Are you inviting 27-10 rated or 28-10 rated? Who are you inviting? So we can make fun of the players, but the organizers, they want the average rating of their tournament to be 2,800, not 2,700. I don't blame them. If I could invite the 10 highest rated players in the world to play here at my chess center and they would play, we would do it. We don't have the money for that. But we do have the money to get like some IMs and FMs here. And you guys don't care about that. The IMs and FMs might blunder more. Their games are more interesting. They're more decisive. But you guys don't care. You want to see Wesley So play Fabiano Caruana. You want to see Magnus play Nakamura. You want to see Mama Jaroff play Nepo. And those games are drawn more because the players are better. And some of them have a drawing kind of attitude, right? Which we didn't see with Fisher and Kasparov and Morphy and others. Lasker, Botvinnik. Some people will, tall, some people will draw more than other players. And if they wanted to, they could invite players who draw less, but the average rating would be much lower. So the solution to not having 11 draws out of 12 and keeping the players really high rated was just done. The St. Louis Rapid and Blitz. Not a lot of draws, same players. But they're playing much faster. Greg Shahadi approved. Greg Shahadi's like, I don't want to sit there and watch a six-hour chess game end in a draw. I want to watch a 20-minute chess game where 2,800 players hang their queen. Makes them feel better. They hang their queen too. All right. Well, the, basically the problem is chess is a draw. That's the way chess is. If you play well and I play well, it's a draw. That's the nature of the game. Okay, sort of like soccer. Play soccer well, it's a draw. So you got to get Barcelona, you know, to play some, you know, major league soccer team in the U.S. Then it won't be a draw. See? Easy. All right. Boo, chess 960. Boo. All right. Rex could provide bigger prizes, man. Rex provides some big prizes. By the way, anybody who makes fun of St. Louis and or Rex, 
the refutation of all of your making fun of was given by John Donaldson. John Donaldson refutation of anybody who complains about St. Louis ever. The refutation is 99% or more of the money that goes to grandmasters in the U.S. comes from the St. Louis Chess Club. So if you're a grandmaster in this country and you want to play the U.S. Championship, and you want to play in Geo Norm Round Robin tournaments, and you want to play in the U.S. Junior Championship, and you want to play in the U.S. Women's Championship, and you want to play in the U.S. Senior Championship, and all these other events they have, if you're a grandmaster, St. Louis, if that's where the money is. So complaining about it makes no sense. If St. Louis didn't exist, we'd all be broke. There'd be no Singfield Cup. U.S. Championship first prize would be 10 bucks. So the best thing that ever happened to chess ever was St. Louis in any respect for anything. And even if you're lower rated, which most of you are, when are you going to go see Magnus Carlsen and Anand and Kramnik and so forth? Well, not Kramnik. St. Louis. That's it. Okay. So the reason there's good chess in the U.S. is because of Rex, Genie, and St. Louis. That's why there's good chess in the U.S. Okay. And if I was you know, had as much money as Rex, would I just give it all to chess? I don't know. Depends what Karen says, whatever she says. But I mean, that's where the chess is. And it's unfortunate in my mind that Mamed Jarov and Karyakin don't play a real game. I mean, that's where, that's where the money is. That's where the chess is. And they, and they, they prearrange a draw. I mean, terrible. All right. The truth hurts. All right, on to the next draw, I mean game. Karawan and Ipo. See, what we're looking for is we're looking for one of these rounds, round three, four, five, whatever, where there's a lot of decisive games. And in fact, Karen and I are going to be there for two of the rounds. Maybe they'll hook us up. Maybe round six, seven, or eight, we're going to see win, 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 just for me and Karen. Or maybe. All right, Fabius White against Nepo. Nepo's the kind of guy, it's not going to be a 10-move draw. It's not going to be a trade fest. He's going to have decisive games. And when he does have a draw, it's going to be really exciting. This was the most exciting draw of the event thus far because I think Fabi was much better at some point, and then he blundered. And I think for one move, Ian was winning. But only computers could see it. So, All right, so we got a Night Orf. Bam! And the Nightorf is a6. Yay! Go Nightorf. Okay. Go US Chess. Yeah. Um, all right. So this is really good because obviously Nepo wants to win because he lost the first round. And Nepo basically never wants to draw. So he reminds me a lot of Morizevich, Shirov. Joe Bava, except those guys really dropped off. And Joe Bava used to be about 27-20 FIDE. And on the last list, he was 25-74 FIDE. And he just won a big tournament where he probably gained about 40 rating points. So he's on his way back. And Morozevich was like 27-99 FIDE. And so is Shirov. Don't, don't look at the ratings now. Don't, don't look. Okay, so there's something to be said for maintaining your rating and drawing a lot of games rather than playing wild and crazy. Because when you play wild and crazy and you get in your 30s and 40s, your, your rating goes down a lot. Truth hurts. And um, Nepo is one of the wild and crazy players left, but he's not that old yet. So maybe he can maintain his wild and crazy, maybe. Okay. Against the Knight Orf, we can play anything. He played h3. It's one of the moves. e5. And they castled opposite sides, which is very interesting. Now, in this position, uh, I was told that Black often plays h5 early to stop g4. Or will play h5 after g4. But Nepo didn't do that. He's like, yeah, whatever. I attack you. You attack me. My name is Nipomniachi. Although you don't really say 
Nipponiachi, but you guys don't know that. Okay, you don't pronounce the end of it, but shh. I'm going to pronounce it wrong. I'm American. Okay. I'm like Butch. My name don't mean shit. I'm American. All right. So he played B5. Okay. And then they just attack each other. And it's very exciting. G5, H4. It's like a delayed Kara's attack because white played H3 first. Eh. Also in the Kara's, white black plays E6. Okay. Knight B6. Bishop E3. And it looks like it's the normal knight orf. Now here the knight's coming in, so he takes the knight and says, you're not coming in. Queen f3, preparing the long castle. Still lots of trading. a5, always play king b1. a4, knight c5, very interesting game. Okay, uh, well this rook isn't really playing in the game, and the king is sort of suspicious but, okay, this king's getting attacked, too. So, uh, The engine plays knight c4, attacking the queen. Fabi plays bishop to d3, which the engine does not like. b3, here he comes, walking down the street. He gets the funniest looks from every GM he meets. Hey, hey, it's the Pomniachi. Okay, so we have to keep the A file closed. we got to close it up. Do you guys see how to do that? How we keep the file closed? Because it's going to open up. He's going to open it up on the bubble up. And he's going to get mated. So white did the only thing he can do. Then the engine says it's equal. I don't want to see equal. I want to see both sides getting checkmated. And then a fist fight. Anyone? Anybody? A takes B3, opening up the A file. No! Yeah, you got to take with a C pawn and then play A3. Then we blocked it up on the bubble up. Okay, that's blocked up. Sort of like a couple of nights ago when I had Indian food. Oh, wait, that's different. Okay. Rook A4. Rawr! See, we like Nipom Niachi because he ain't kidding around. If he loses, he loses. Okay. In fact, Nepo once got into a fist fight. It was at some airport in Europe with Sylvester Stallone. It's a true story. And Sylvester Stallone was knocked unconscious. Took him to the hospital. And they said, Nepo, what did you do? And he said, if he dies, he dies. I know what's said about Carl Weathers, but you guys don't know even what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, I prefer it in the glass, I guess, the Perrier. Yeah. Yeah, Stallone's pretty old. I agree. Okay, knight e4, trade everything, and finally castles. Finally. Okay, and the engine prefers white now. It did prefer black. And here the engine wants to play rook d3, attacking the pawn, or rook g1 with checkmating intentions. He played the other rook to g1. Not an engine favorite. Queen a7. He's going to checkmate on the bubble up. Here comes the bubble up checkmate. h5. I mate you. You mate me. We both have the best attack in history. Okay, and he made the engine move. g6. Blocking the G file. Rook D3. Good, good, good. Rook B8. Also the engine move. Good. HG. HG. Both sides attacking. Nobody's really has a winning threat yet. And now, if I remember correctly, this was the blunder made by Fabi. Yeah, pretty sure I'm right. So the engine says rook h1 equal. Obviously, if rook h1 is the right move, probably shouldn't have played rook h to g1 before. If you're a human, I'm not saying you're a human. If you're a human, rook h one's hard to play. You play rook h to g1, then when you play rook h1, you feel sort of stupid. Like, why'd I do that? Why'd I play rook h to g1? Usually, 2800s, can, they can get over that. They just play the right move. But Fabi played queen g2. 
He wanted to triple up on the bubble up. He wanted to get all of his ricks over here. Okay, and that actually is the losing move. That's a blunder. And the reason it wins is virtually impossible to figure out. Nobody's ever going to figure it out. So it's not, it's, it makes sense that he didn't, that he didn't figure it out. Okay. Black is actually winning by force here, but if you're playing somebody and they play the forced win, that means they're cheating with an engine because only an engine can find this. Okay. You sack the rook, which a human can find that that's not the hard part. The problem is you're threatening queen a two, which wins. And the obvious defense is to move your F pawn. Let's say F three you're defending. And normally you would play B two and win, but you can't play B two cause you're pinned. So this looks like black just hung a rook because white's going to play queen B two next move. And black has nothing. You can't play B2 because your B pawn's pinned. Well, the engine says queen A7 wins. The idea behind queen A7, obviously, is the pawn isn't pinned, so I can play B2. And the non-obvious point is the A4 mentioned queen B2 cannot be played now because the rook is hanging. That's why you should have played rook H1 in, instead, of, instead of queen G2. So an engine would play this with black and an engine would win. Now black's winning because white can't do anything here. Black's just going to play B2 and crash through on the queen side. And the engine says black's winning. Nobody's going to find sacking the rook and then retreating the queen A7. But queen A7 makes sense. We want to play B2, queen A1 check. So the queen has to stand in the A file. And we want to stop queen B2. So you attack the rook on g1. But, yeah. And the engine line, this is the engine line, so you guys know. And black is obviously winning here. White's king is naked. Black's king is safe. Black's up two pawns. This bishop is as impotent as a Nevada boxing commissioner. Yeah. So for one move, Nipo was winning this game if he had sacked the Rook. Let's see. Somebody donated. Somebody sent me an email. All right. $5. Go Clooney from Daddy Worm Buckles. I do look like George Clooney. It's true. Okay. So for one move, Nipo was winning, but obviously didn't, didn't see Queen A7. So he played Bishop F8. Even better than winning, always play Bishop F8. And if you thought I was kidding, when I say always play bishop f8, he kept playing it. So he, he knows what he's doing. Okay, f3, boo, boo, f3. Yeah, and now they repeated, always repeat. White's threatening all kinds of checkmates. Bishop here stops them all. And then they repeated for no reason. And draw. Terrible. I've been to Canada. I, I, I lived in Detroit most of my life. Well, it was Rook takes A3. Yeah, I mean, you couldn't see, nobody's going to see Queen A7, Raj. Yeah. So, in this position, the engine says everything's a draw because nobody can do Vishwa nothing. Everything's blocked. So draws a fair result, but for one move, Nepo was winning. If he had played Rook A3, Queen A3, and then Queen A7. Queen A7, god damn. All right, no cheating. All right, then we have Karyakin versus Ding. Ding, 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 ding. And Karyakin got a nice advantage, and then they agreed to a draw. I guess they repeated. But, I mean, Karyakin was doing pretty well, I thought. I think other people thought that, too. Maybe thinking's not my strong suit. Okay. And, again, these games were played today. Sinkfield Cup. And they played a boring Rui Lopez. What? Oh, sorry. Okay. And Karyakin, instead of playing an anti-martial... Just allowed the marshal. 
crazy. Okay, so players today play A4 and H3 and D3 and A3, but he just played the normal move and we got a marshal. So that way the players get to play 800 moves of theory. D3 is probably more popular now than D4. And this is just the main, main, main line of the marshal. Players are probably in their prep when they agree to a draw. So in this line, black gets no attack, but he gets his pawn back. Bishop takes D4, D3. So white gives his pawn back, and white gets all this development. And then they trade everything and agree to a draw. Good, good job. Good job. I trade you. So here, white has a nice positional advantage because black has two isolated pawns and white doesn't have any. And white's bishop on d4 is pretty good. But black has the two bishops. Also, they traded a lot of pieces. I'll still take white. But time to trade some more pieces. Never play f6. Always play bishop f8. Okay. I trade you. You trade... So here everybody thought white had a nice advantage. The engine also thinks white has a nice advantage. The rook is better than black's rook. These pawns are isolated and weak. Bishop is blockading. These pawns can't move. It just it looks it looks great for, for white. And they just found this repetition. And then they draw, of course. Now, the engine doesn't repeat. The engine actually tries to win, and then in the end, a lot of the winning attempts end in repetitions. So uh, the engine likes white, obviously, because black has these isolated weak pawns, but doesn't see anything to do. So even though the engine likes white, if you look at the engine lines, they're just repetitions where white is better because it likes white, but doesn't see anything to do really to, to try to win. So white was better that game, but maybe it was more optical. Maybe as Nakamura would say, optically speaking. Because remember, black has two bishops. All the, all the pieces are traded. H5 pawn potentially could get captured by the bishop. So maybe there's just no way to win. But as soon as we thought white had a nice advantage, they started repeating. Yeah, these are not Spencer's favorite players. These guys have lots and lots of draws. Lots of draws. A lot of draws. Okay, so uh, we're almost at the end. We have, oh, we actually have some more games. I want to get the tournament started eventually. I think we're going to start the tournament at 10, the, the Blitz tournament. So I'm going to get that ready about 9.30. We'll set it up. Okay, now the game that should have been decisive this round, I think, was Geary versus Aronian. It looked like Geary just played a nice game and was slowly squeezing him, and then he gave up. Okay, maybe Geary didn't want to win. I don't know. Okay, and according to something I read on Twitter, so you know it's true, uh, it says Geary's never beaten a Ronin in a slow game. I don't know if that's true, or I misread it. That seems hard to believe. So, very suspicious. Okay, they played a boring Italian... You know, Joko Piano. Oh. Oh, so boring. <sighs> nobody does anything. All right. So after a lot of moves of nobody doing anything, finally Aronian does something. D5, of course, leading to more trades. Can you believe all these trades? Can you believe it? Okay, finally white's a pawn up, but these pawns are all weak, and there's not much material left. And Aronia made a great move here. Queen d8, always retreat. Yep, great move. And the point is to trade even more pieces off. And if black wins his pawn back, it's just a dead draw, and these pawns are both attacked. Okay, so that's what happened. Never play f3. And he's hoping his knight is better than this knight. Well, he's right, but it still should be a draw. It's 
Still in the draw zone. Always check. Not too exciting. Knight d5. So trade, 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 trade. And now black made a move I don't like. Although the engine said it was really bad, now says it's okay. I don't like it. I like the second engine move, king g7. That's what I would play. He took the rook, giving white this really nice pass pawn. I don't like it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. And now there's a big decision here whether to just give up this pawn or play rook to b5. At the moment, the engine plays rook to b5. Then rook takes, pawn takes. White has the better of the end game. Probably a draw, but white has winning chances. But instead he chose knight d7, just giving up the pawn. Now white's just a pawn up. But it's very hard to win because it's very hard to suggest how to win. Okay, and the reason is I'm on this pawn and you're defending the pawn. So if you move either piece away, I take the pawn for free. And if you try to pin my knight, then when I take with the knight and you pin it, I have knight c4 defending my rook. So can't play b7, I take it. Can't move the knight away, I take it. Can't move the rook, I take it. Seems like it's a draw. White can't do anything. So eventually, since white can't do anything over here, Anish decided to play on the king side. And he played g4. Matt Larson recommended. Unfortunately, after g4 and the trade, this pawn's not defended. So instead of trying to win this pawn and stopping it, Aroni decided to win this pawn. So now it's equal pawns, although obviously this, this pawn looks pretty good. Okay, rook to d8. And I'm confused because my thing says the game ended here, but it couldn't have ended here. So what did I do wrong? Did I do everything wrong? They can't agree to a draw. It's not allowed. So let's see what happened. Only Geary can agree to a draw when it's not allowed. Maybe there's a Geary exception. I don't know. They couldn't have agreed to a draw here. Yeah, they didn't. I just didn't have the whole game. That just made no sense. Another blunder by Feingold. Who would have thunk it? Uh, okay, so knight takes e4, rook d8, king h7, put it in h. Yeah, the engine really likes white here. Um, rook b8, does that move 47? Yeah. Here comes the pawn. Rook b5. And when I was looking at this with the engine, Maurice style, like an hour ago, two hours ago, three hours ago, it thought knight f6 check gave good winning chances. Um, not sure if that's true, but he ended up playing b7. Make a queen. And rook b2, you can't make a queen. Knight e7, make a queen. Knight d6, attacking the pawn. And then he played the move knight g8. This is a funny move. He wants to play knight f6 check and rook g8 checkmate. Pretty sneaky, sis. And then the game ended in Geary style. He stopped the mate. And then he did it again, threatening the mate. And after 97, a draw was claimed. And now I want to talk about this with you guys. Saturday, I wasn't directing in the tournament room here, but like food arrived or I got Spencer a drink. I think it was food. And I said, go eat and I'll watch the tournament games. And he did. And... I was sitting there trying to fall asleep in the tournament room and some kid went up to me and said, I claim a draw. And I was like, all right. 
Here's what happened. White was down a queen for a rook, so white's lost. There's no compensation. And the game went rook h5 check, and the king on h6 went to g6. Then rook g5 check, and the king went back to h6. Then rook h5 check, then the king went to g7. Rook g5 check, and the king went back to h6. And the kid went up to me and said, I'm going to play rook h5, same position three times, which is correct. And the other kid said, no, because the first time I played king g6, and the second time I played king g7. This is a common misconception that the position repetition has to do with positions that aren't the position. Okay, the positions that aren't the position I don't care about. I care about the position on the board. If that position has occurred three times, it doesn't matter how it occurred three times. It could have occurred on move six, on move 96, and move 896. It's the same position as a draw. The moves in between it don't matter. And I tried to explain that to the kid, and he said, you know what I'm thinking? That's what he was thinking. He's like, what? And this is actually the same thing because this position has occurred three times, but the positions in between weren't the same, which obviously doesn't matter because once it went like this and once it went like this, that doesn't matter. What matters is this position. So what I can do is I can click. So if I click on move 49, you will see nothing. And if I click on move 51, you will see nothing. If I click on move 53, you will see nothing. That's three different positions in the game, but you didn't notice the difference because the position is the same with the same person to move, so it's a draw. And most people don't understand the rule. They think that we're moving back and forth. That's not what the rule is. The rule is the position on the board has occurred for the third time. The moves that aren't that position, we don't care about that. We care about this position. And so the fact that he played king g6 h6 and king g7 h6, that doesn't matter in the tournament game here. And this is the same. The fact that Anish played knight e8 to e7, knight g to e7, that knight e5 to e7 doesn't matter. What matters is this position occurred three times and with black to move. And the first two times it happened, Aronia played knight d6. But now he doesn't play knight d6, he just says draw. So even though white has excellent winning chances, I'm sure Anish was happy with the draw. Different piece highlights, no. Move back and forth in your chairs, no. It does matter whose turn it is. What doesn't matter is what happened between the positions in question. So I'll give you guys a funny example. Okay. Try to be as funny as I can. Okay, that's two. Okay, now black can write the move knight b8 on his score sheet and get the director and claim a draw because that position occurred three times. Or black could play knight b8, hit the clock, and then white can claim a draw because this position occurred three times. After black plays knight b8 and hits the clock, black can't claim anymore because it's not black's turn. So if you're black and you wanted to claim a draw, you would write knight b8 on your score sheet and say you're going to play knight b8. If you're white, you can claim it after knight b8. Also, etc. Yeah. And obviously, the player to move is not different. It's not possible that it's black's move in this position, which is very funny, actually. If this position is reached illegally, it must be white's move. I have spoken. Opening move positions count. All positions count. 
White has good winning chances here, but probably would be a draw. Trying to learn is always correct. Can't you claim it any time? No. You get one chance to claim stuff. So once Black plays Knight B and hits the clock, he ain't claiming nothing. And White can claim a draw now. And once White makes a move, nobody can claim anything. Yeah, that's true. You love me. Yeah. All positions cut. How can I to my wife? Man, the truth hurts. What's your wife's rating? Before you explain that all positions count to your wife, you have to explain the chess concepts of penetration and prophylaxis. All right, we have 200 cent to deuce from knight c8. Hooray. Also, etc. By the way, also, according to USCF and or FIDE rules, So actually, I switched the knights here, but it's considered the same position. And this is the same position even though I switched the knights. Truth hurts. Do you pause the clock and raise your hand? I mean, if you're a little kid, you do. Yeah, you claim a draw and you get the director. You pause the clock and get the director. Yeah. Switch the bishops. That's good cheating. No switching the bishops. All right. Anyway... This moving the knights back and forth and drawing, that's the game Geary versus Geary. And then he woke up with a big smile on his face. So there you go. Yeah. All right, back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. That wasn't reality. Okay, MVL Wesley So. We're getting near the end. This is the end, my friend, the end. Bam. That was a doorway into the doors. Okay, MVL's white. If this was 100 years ago, they played D4, but now they play D3. Boring. Okay, now, this is something I've always been fond of. In this position, I like to play F5 with black, which is illegal for two reasons. Pawns can't jump over knights, and the pawn's pinned. So what I would often do is play h6, knight h7, king h8, f5. Or I would try to do that. And before h3 was played, players like Spassky would play knight g4, because there's no pawn on h3. Then they would play the knight back to h6 later and play f5. However, there was a game played a few days ago in the Rapid and Blitz, I think Aronian was black. And he played King H8, Knight G8, F5. All right. So Wesley said, I can do, I can do that too. And even after D4, he still played Knight G8. God damn, stay up for the next game. Okay. In this position, um, MVL played a very crazy move. I don't think any other super GM would play this move. I don't think anybody would play this move. Maybe MVL is the only player in the world who would play this move. Um, very nonsensical move. The, the moves that make sense are like developing the bishop somewhere. Right? This makes sense to me. Bishop d5 is given as a move. You know, take the knight and win a pawn. Instead he played b4. Very strange move. And it's not a bad move, it's just weird, because it gives up a pawn. And so Wesley took the pawn, the c3 pawn is overworked. So he took on d4 and took on b4. So it's a very delayed Evans Gambit, very delayed. So this looks like a game played in the kids' tournament today. Black plays knight g8, white blunders a pawn. All right, knight c3, bishop f4. And then the confessional, uh, Magnus, this, this is true, Magnus said he really liked the understanding that you know, MVL had of the beginner's chest when you learn to put your pieces like this. All right. And, of course, I have to look away again, F6. And this is, um, the engine says this is equal. 
So, all right. Now, I'm not kidding when I say this. If you have an engine at home, you can look it up. One of the top engine moves is bishop c1. Always retreat. That's my kind of move. Okay, and rook b1 is the other engine move. He played queen b3, moving forward. Terrible. And white has good compensation for a pawn, obviously. White has a you know, nice center here. Bishop c1. Yeah, there we go. Black sacrifices a pawn back, but he's threatening bishop c2. That's pretty annoying. And then MVL plays like MVL. I mean, he is MVL, so. Now, if you take this queen, and I take this, and then take this, I have a rook and two pieces for a queen. Rook and two pieces is better than a queen. So he has to play rook b8, which is fine. And blacks up the exchange, but white has a pawn or two, so it's still, engine still says it's equal. Always play bishop f1. Good, good. And the engine slightly prefers black, but still says it's a draw. The important thing is to trade all the pieces off. That's, what, that's what's important. If you're not trading all the pieces off, you're not trying. And okay, black has a symbolic advantage, but this pawn's defended forever, so it's just a draw. And actually, this reminds me of my game with Nakamura in the one FIDE rated game we played or USDF rated slow. US Open and Cherry Hill, right Raj? 2007? Is that when the US Open was in Cherry Hill? And I had a bishop and a passed, I think it was a passed B pawn. I, I had rook and bishop against two rooks with a passed B pawn. My, my pawn was actually better than the one on B5. Mine was further advanced. It was a draw because it was blockaded. So nobody's really better here, it's just a draw. Okay, and they agreed to it. Well, actually, they can't agree to a draw. They have to repeat. That's good repeating. All right, following the rules. Good job. And then they drew because they can repeat. So that game, both sides tried to win. The material was imbalanced. And then they were like, all right, all right, that's enough of that. Trade, 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 draw. And there's not really many mistakes that game. According to the engine, both sides were a little better. But... The players at the top level defend pretty well. So even when they're a little worse, they know how to get these kind of drawn positions. All right. And I think there's just one more game left. Yeah, Nakapuki was black against Yomama. And Mama Jov was very close to winning, I think. But then he got Vishwa nothing. Yeah, there were two games today where somebody might win. Geary might have beaten Aronian, and Mama Drob might have won this game. Now, before we start the game, let's set up the, the tournament. Um, we'll call it Sunday Night Stupidity um, uh, Suckers. Did I spell Suckers? How would you guys spell suckers? Would you spell it like that? You suckers. All right. Then five minutes. And then we start exactly. When are we going to start? We'll start at 9.50. No, 9.45. Yeah, that way we can get six rounds in. And then six rounds. And then 40 games minimum. Yeah, how would you spell? Not suckers. That's ridiculous. Sakas U Z. Hmm. Yeah, I like the way I spelled it. Oh, Sakas A Z. Wait, maybe that's better. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, five minute twenty one forty five. All right, that looks good. Why forty minute? No, no, forty minimum games. Yeah, the reason is, if there's no minimum games, there's a lot of cheaters that come in. So if you haven't cheated in 40 games, you might not start. If you cheated in 40 games, we already kicked you out. That's the idea. That's the idea. Okay, let me join the tournament. It is joined. My rating is 24.99. He spelled succubus wrong. Okay. Um, 
So right after this game, we'll start the tourney. All right. So this is your mama versus Hikaru, who used to be your daddy, but not anymore. And they played a Bishop F4 QGD, and they played a 100 Musa Theory. And they've both played this many times. And in this position, Mom and Jarov made the unusual move G4. Normally they play knight to D2 or king to B1. But he played G4. So Mom and Jarov, when he's not playing Karyakin, plays very aggressively. Like when he plays me. Plays aggressive. Let's see, what does that say? Uh, thanks, Frank. All right. Good email, good email. Uh, let's see. I donate to you. You donate to me. I'm just kidding. None of you donate. So this is a weird stream. It says I've donated more to you guys than you donated to me this stream. That's weird. Because I didn't donate anything to you guys. But somehow I have negative donations. Okay. So... When somebody attacks you on the wing, you should attack them with a thigh. Oh, wait, that's something else. You attack in the center. So Naka plays DC, and then after takes, plays B5. Okay, and then that's ignored. G5, confusing the audience. Okay, so both sides playing super aggressive, which you would expect from Mama Jarov and Naka. Naka plays the computer move, Knight H5. Bishop d3. Once again, Naka plays the computer move. You'll notice this h-pawn is hanging, but time is of the essence. So b4. Who needs that h-pawn? And Mama Jarov is like, who needs the quickie mart? Now here's the tricky part. Who needs the h-pawn? I do. I think that's how he's saying it. Yeah. All right. And he takes on h5. Takes on h7. This stream is very similar to the streams of Rosen and Bartholomew. Very similar. Uh, 557 viewers. We only lost 100 viewers after I sang. Okay. Now, this is where I come in. Even I can make the best move here. King H8. Bam. Put it in H. Okay. So now, all of White's pieces are hanging, but he retreats. Bishop E4. The computer still says it's equal somehow. BC, that's correct. Bishop takes C6, obviously. C takes B2. And C takes B2, this position, black could also consider bishop takes A3 and knight takes F4. The computer says they're all playable. But C takes B2 is best. Always play king B1. The only move. Otherwise, you resign. Queen takes A3. Very reasonable. The engine also says knight takes f4 is possible. And rook a7. Okay, but you might as well threaten mate in one. So, queen takes b2 is forced. Queen takes b2 is a move. Doesn't have to play it. And here, the engine prefers knight takes f4. And in fact, in the game, Naka never did play knight takes f4. It had his knight trapped on h5. Which reminds me of a very nice game I won to tie for first in the National Open in 2005 against Dmitry Gurevich, where I beat him in the last round, and his knight was on h5 the whole game. I, I got his knight trapped over there. The engine says if he plays knight takes, the position is equal. Of course, after bishop takes rook, it's very tricky. In fact, I'll show you the main line, and then you can cry all night. Because you'll realize chess isn't your game. The main line is knight f4, bishop a8, knight e2. Threatening knight c3 check, obviously. If queen takes e2, e5, threatening bishop f5 check, it says is equal. It also says this is equal. Now we're threatening knight c3 check and knight takes rook. And the engine says all zeros. All right, nobody can calculate this accurately, so a lot of it is a guessing game. Naka didn't feel like playing no crazy line. He just traded queens, but the engine doesn't like that. Now the engine says, if you take this and I take here, white's winning, 
you don't have knight e2 threatening the rook and knight c3 check because knight c3 ain't check. The king's on b2. We need the king on b1 so the knight on e2 has two threats. So now white actually has a big advantage because after rook a7, the only move, white can move his bishop and this knight isn't good. So queen takes queen was basically Naka's only mistake and now he's fighting for a draw. And the reason is this, this knight's just terrible. Terrible night. Okay, but Naka wants to trade all the pieces off, so it's a good start. Can't beat that. So far, so good. White has a big advantage. Plus one, plus 1.1. This knight's just not good on h5. And rook bb6 is good. King h7 is okay. And in this position, the engine thus far says... Naka shouldn't have played queen takes queen. And it says all of their moves by both sides were good until the following move. It doesn't like f4. f4 seems very natural. But for some reason, the engine prefers h4. I don't know. I like f4. The engine's not an f4 fan. Okay. Rook a8. Now we're going to queen our a pawn, I guess. He's going to try to queen it. Oh, well, that's the end of that. And then f6, never play f6. And the point is trade, 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 draw. Always trade and always draw. And he retreated, always retreat. And the rook's going to come here with check. And now finally a player of my caliber and possibly Mamajarov understands why h4 is better than f4. Didn't understand before. Obviously after f4, the e3 pawn's not defended. I didn't care about that, but now I care about it. I changed my mind. Now I care about it. I care now. I'm like iced tea. I didn't care, but now I care. And the critical line, which nobody would see five moves ago, is in this position, we can take on f4 because the e pawn's pinned. And we attack the rook. Obviously, this would all be avoided if white had played h4 and this pawn was on f2, then there's no counterplay for black. And f4 weakened e3 enough where now the game is a draw. Black has sufficient counterplay. So the only mistake Naka made that game was trading queens. The only mistake Mama Jara made was f4. And because of that, it went from equal to a big advantage to white to a draw. That's basically the whole game. And now it's just a draw because we trade everything. I take you, you take me. There's no pieces on the board anymore. Good singing. Yeah. And white has Vishwa nothing. All right. They drew as quickly as they could without repeating. They got to king versus king in 44 moves. Pretty good. That was a great game. White made one mistake and black made one mistake. So... Otherwise, it was a pretty good game. I like that game. That's sort of like my one-minute games if each side has played one move because each side made one mistake. Once we get to move two, that's more mistakes than this whole game. So. All right. So that was every single game played yesterday and today in the Singfield Cup. 12 games. Okay. And somehow we did it in two and a half hours. We looked at 12 games. Although we didn't look at one of the games, the game that was prearranged. We're not looking at that game. We showed Karyakin and Mama Jarov. Although Karyakin was better against Dingler in the next round, and Mama Jarov was better the next round, but neither one was able to win. In fact, nobody won today, six draws. Yesterday, the only win was Vichy Anand after uh, Nipo hung a rook in one move at the end of the game. Terrible. So the lesson is don't hang a rook. I hope you learned something. All right. We're having a six-round blitz tournament that starts in 13 minutes. Suckers. And there's the link. Bishop b8 after rook a7 doesn't win the rook. What am I, a grandmaster? Oh, yeah. Um, this position. The question is, why not bishop b8 double exclam and the rook is trapped? The answer is fries. The answer is actually very nice. White is winning except 
Black has one move, and Black's winning. And that move is the fork. Rook b7 check. The obvious answer is to take, and now there's a double attack. We attack the knight, and we attack the bishop. And those are the kind of things that those guys see. And here, probably still a draw. Probably. No, maybe not. Maybe. I mean, much better for black. Black's going to have a bishop and a knight for a rook. So only black can win, but white has drawing chances. But that's why that didn't happen, because rook b7 check. And when all of your pieces are hanging, sometimes you lose one. And I'm sure both players saw that. I didn't see it, but both players saw it. Yay, chess is saying stuff. Don't hang the rook. Go chess. Very suspicious. Suspicious analysis. Yeah. So that was a very exciting game because they castled opposite sides and they both played crazy, just like in the game between Karwan and Apomniachi. And their Nepo missed that crazy rook sacrifice win, which nobody would see. Frankly, ridiculous. It's not Aaron, it's A.A. Ron. That's who's typing. A.A. Ron. All right, so the tournament starts in 10 minutes. That sounds like time for a bathroom break. Normally, Karen would be here to entertain the masses while I'm going to the bathroom. Then I'll come back and scare her. But she's not here. Let's see where Karen is. Hmm. What's Karen's name? Oh, yeah, Karen. I mean, I hope Karen went to Starbucks. Where's my crying one? There it is. All right, cry like a grandmaster. <clears throat> and then there's 23 people entered in the five minute tournament. It's a six round tournament. Starts in nine minutes. Nine. Can we get Karen and or Archer to play? Plus tax. Trying to learn's playing. Go trying to learn. And trying to learn is one of the higher rated players. Damn. Okay, we have 24 players. We'll probably get about 50. Tournament starts in nine minutes. Nine. Uh, Danny Wrench is 6'4". Very suspicious. The only question is, did Danny Wrench come home from St. Louis yet? See, this is a great picture on my on my uh, Discord. This was taken in 1989. Nine! Great picture. Great. Good job. There we go. All right. Yeah, I couldn't win a chess very often, but with that knife, I was getting pretty strong. Yeah. 30 years ago to the day. No, it was in December, so not to the day. Kramnik is very tall. I agree. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Looking younger. Let's see. St. Louis. Danny Wrench. It's Karen. I just texted her. Where are you? Because I have to go to the bathroom. I need you to entertain them. What? No. And I was really hoping you had Starbucks. God, no Starbucks. And she's going to the bathroom. No! The only thing worse is when I scream into the microphone. Tournament starts in seven minutes. I can't believe she beat me to the bathroom and she didn't bring me Vishwa nothing. Terrible. 544 viewers to do. Will they say adieu when they leave? Don't forget to enter the tournament. Some of you forgot. Boo. Now, between the game analysis and the tournament is a good time to donate. The more you donate, the more money Karen and I have. Remember that. Turn down your speakers? No. Tomorrow, Monday? I guess you four hours tomorrow? God. Um, Red Brogoff just subscribed with Twitch Prime. 
No more commercials for he. Tournament chat. Increment for bullet. Chess.com TV. Boo. Okay, so there's 26 players. That's not enough players. I want 50. I'm going to be 50 next month. 50 years old. I can jump, kick, and jump. Although, maybe not when I'm 50. But you, know, you get it. 441 subscribers. No. We need 50. Nine more. Nine. Somebody donate 50 subs. You can do it. Come on, Moobot. Moobot, you're always talking, but you're never, you're never donating. Come on, Moobot. Let's go. Man, Moobot's so lazy. Somebody give him a sub. Sub everybody. How come BTS Rocket League has more viewers than me? It only has about 31,800 more viewers than me, so it's close. Come on, Moobot. Give us some subs. Give us some dough. Yeah, the tournament starts in 5 minutes and 16 seconds. Okay. And it's a 10-second tournament. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's a, it's a five-minute tournament. Is that right now? Hmm? Right now. Are you guessing what time you can go? No, it starts in five minutes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Can you tell me? You're, no. You're supposed to go clockwise. I have to. Oh, no, your speaker is there. Oh, I have to. I have to listen. I know. Can you bring one? Come back. Hello. Let's see what everybody's been doing. I missed the whole stream because I was working and putting my kids to bed. Um, so I don't know what everybody's been doing. I did see that there were some um, subs at some point. So that's good. Let's see what people are saying. Hey, everyone. Let's see. Um, Chess and Onion says, oh, my God, it's Karen. <laughs> So I don't know why that would be, um, you know, that surprising. Let's see. Um, hey, Blade Runners, Blade Runner, sixty nine X. Um, hey, Grandmaster Stewart. I'm doing all right. I'm tired. We had a tournament, two tournaments this weekend, and. Um, they're just pretty exhausting. So that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> um, let's see, y'all peg. What? Karen, Ben said earlier, y'all peg. What does that mean? <laughs> Am I being trolled? What does that even mean? Somebody tell me what peg means. Karen, how does it feel when you don't get one of Ben's jokes? I'm, you know, I'm used to it. A lot of them are very specific to um, cultural things that I just have no exposure to. So that's just the way it is. I don't watch a lot of TV, etc. Hello. Hey. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what is Peg? Hmm? Uh, it's a song by um, by Steely Dan. Okay. Go to the tournament. All right, I'm going to, yeah. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> uh, yay, I'm back. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, my ears. Her accent is amazing. Considering she's from Louisiana. She's not from Louisiana. Let's see. It's Ben. Yeah, I got you guys good. You guys are hard to get, except not really. Okay, there's 29 players. Two minutes till the tournament. Is she my third wife? I stopped counting at some point. Hey, they said I don't want to know what pegging means. Um, let's see. Pegging isn't something to discuss on the stream. Also, don't Google it. That's what it says. I think I, I explained what peg was. But FM, no static at all. If you don't realize I'm going to scream into the microphone, that's more of a you problem than a me problem. Five hundred viewers a do. 
Tournament starts in one minute, 30 seconds. Red Brogoff just gave five subs and Pantaglian gave 20 subs earlier. 10 seconds to join the tournament. Nine, eight. No, I'm just kidding. You got tons of time. That was a joke. No static at all. Five minutes. This guy says, are me and you, are we, are we like Shrek and Fiona? Let's go. We got to give some subs. We got to have 500. My screen was about four times normal volume, right? That's about how normal stream is. Yeah. I'm sure there's other grandmasters streaming. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, and so on. All right, tournament starts in 30 seconds. We have 33 players. Go, Karen, but stay there. Let's see. Karen's rated 32nd out of 34. Solid. <laughs> I'm sure I'll do well. No, there's a 2200. Karen keeps kicking the table. What are you, Archer over there? Um, there's an NM. No. Eight seconds till the tournament starts. Eight, seven, nine, 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 nine. And here we go. Get rid of the analysis board. All right, I'm playing 1422 from, from Germany. Hope I can beat him in nine moves. Nine. Let's see. We'll play Bishop F5. My German is amazing. I really say nine pretty well. I can also say Fischer's Fritz, Fischer, Fischer, Fischer. I don't see you guys saying that. 95, no, he's attacking me. What is he, German? He's playing the Goyim attack. No. You take me, I take you. Man, I can't say the next line. It's really funny. Oh, well. <laughs> You know it's funny when I can't say it. Let's see, F5 is pretty annoying, so I'll do that. <laughs> it's 3.45 a.m. in Germany. There's only one time zone in Germany? Damn. <laughs> There's so many funny German jokes I want to make, and I can't make them. Darn. Uh, man. Did you win yet? Karen says no. Uh, let's see. Slondischist. Da. Harasho. Uh-oh. This guy's going to get beat like... I can't say that joke either. Yay. I'm playing in the center. The centrum. No, he made it to move 10. No. Terrible. G5, Mama Jarov style. Why can't you make the jokes? You're making these Nazi Holocaust jokes. People get mad. Ridiculous. I'm only saying them because there's no air on in here and it's hot as an oven. Come on, I'm trying to check me, and you're not letting me. Dang. Let's see here. Do I get mated? No. Okay, good. Slundishist. Da. How are you? Slundishist. Pieska. Let's see. Hi, Ben. How are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Let's see. How do I checkmate the... Let me count the ways... I checkmate thee to the depth, breadth, and height my queen can reach. Right, Karen? Karen says yes. Oh, I don't like that move. I guess I'm going to do it anyway. You can't always get what you want. What you want. I get zero points if I win. Hooray. We have Nisi Piano. It's true.
Who's the highest rated German player? Yeah, Nisi Piano's pretty good. Uh, Queen F3, that looks like a good move. I don't like it. Gustafsson? I don't think he's better than Nisi Piano. Yeah, Nisi Piano and Nadich are always switching federations, confusing me. Queen F4. How do I sack my queen from eight? Uh, it's not easy. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I'm up a queen. Ah, he took back. Darn. I thought I would just be up a queen the whole game. You can't always get what you want. I'm up a knight. Still theory. This is my game with this guy. That's the theory. You take me, I take you. It's still theory. All right, so tomorrow I'm streaming the same 7 to 11. Boo. So four-hour stream tomorrow. That'll just be tournaments. I won't talk about the Sinkfield Cup because I have to go there. I can't make fun of the players right before I go there. Magnus will say, excuse me, sir, why are you making fun of me? Uh, let's see, here, 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 here. Castle, move my king under my rook like this. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I guess rook D it is theory. There will be Slurpees. Uh, king F7, X clan. Oh, wait. King takes is better. Bishop d4. Bushes. Slondjitiri da. Da hershul. Ah, da. I don't know. His position doesn't look very good. And we're moving on up. Moving on up to the queen side, <laughs> to a deluxe pawn structure in the sky. Man, this guy can't do Vishwa nothing. Uh, let's see, check. I check you, you check me. In Soviet Russia, chess checks you. Let's see, takes. Let's see, Rook there. Where would it at? B3. Uh, I hope he doesn't win on the king side before I win on the queen side. Might. I don't think so. I certainly hope not. That would suck. I'm pretty sure I can just take this. I beat you, you beat me, except you don't beat me. Not sure about that move. <laughs> That's a good one. The guy said the pawn is hanging like Jeffrey Epstein. That's a good one. I haven't heard that one before. Good job, good job. Uh, let's see. Where's all the donations for my brilliant King Upon Endgame play? Since my opponent's German, Karen, I played a Swishin Sug, then put him in Sug Swang. Mm -hmm. I showed him. <clears throat> I'm 
I'm going to win on time in three seconds. I won on time. No, I was 24.99, and I still am. All right, Karen says we should watch her game. Because I'm doing so well. Yeah. <laughs> Go, Karen. Look, you were treating. That's good. Bam. And it's over. Now White's winning with the extra pawn. Go, Karen. <clears throat> Why is Ben not winning? I, I already won. R R extra pawns right there. Right there. Yay, go Karen. You only lost one point. That was good. Yeah. I only have one point more than Karen. All right, there's 38 players in the tournament. Uh, one of the 2200s drew and then withdrew from the tournament. Wait, there's a 2400 player playing. No. Oh, wait, I'm 2400. No. Uh, gonna go to bed. No. All right, everybody, donate one dollar now. Go. Go, everybody, one dollar. Come on, there's five hundred one of you. That's at least fifty bucks, at least. <sighs> Yay. Make a transfer from my mm, Swiss bank account. I don't have a Swiss bank account. My attorney told me to keep some of my assets secret. Rufus and Doofus donating one cent. <laughs> flying fl fandom fly flying taco also one cent. Yes. All right, I'm playing chess and onions, and he's from Bhutan. You're not as liquid. What are you, solid? Yes, I can play the Chinese attack if he plays g6. Go, Ben. We. No. No. What a donation. I think the stream's broken. $9.99. Sorry, I can't type a dollar. R.A. Kelly, 617-653. Normally, I wouldn't forgive you, but all right. I forgive you. You forgive me. We're the forgiving family. Give a dog a bone. email check my texts <clears throat> check it chest just started a rerun what all right what am i doing here uh b5 here here always retreat bishop f1 oh i like bishop f1 it's Bishop F1. What? Trying to learn one a game. Did you cheat? Yay, another donation of at least a dollar. $99.99. Mob Prail donated. What is this 99.99 requirement about? New to the stream. No, no, but you misread the requirement. You have to do it twice. But it's okay. It, it's, I'm not going to get mad because it's your first time here. $99.99, new to the stream, excellent. Whoever donates the most gives me the most money. Because of his donation, I'm going to sack a queen and win a queen with a discovered check. 
just because of the you know donation. Yay! And then I'll under promote to a rook for confusion. Hooray! Yay! That was the best donation ever of all time. I've been streaming for for almost two years now. I think that's my largest donation ever. My memory's not very good. Hooray! Who dares top that donation? Dare, dare. I donate to you. You donate to me. Karen's going to win. She'll probably score three out of six. The more you donate, the better you play. That explains why most of you aren't too good yet. Like here? Yeah, she says yes. He put it in H. I check you. You check me. Uh, always retreat. Give a dog a bone. Doesn't matter what the Fed does. The country goes down the tubes until Trump is out. I mean, the only thing that matters for your money more than the Fed is the Fed, John Fedorowitz. Now that's what's going to affect your income. What's John Fedorowitz going to do? Now he's the Fed. Your victory. Good game, good game. What do you do, King B8? Confusing the audience. Mr. Popezilla knows what he's talking about. Yeah, and Glorious Bastards is either three, four, or five. Good question, good question. Four hundred ninety-nine viewers. Did you win yet? Are you gonna win? <laughs> she says, maybe, maybe. Man, this guy must have went to Georgia State. He's giving it away. <sighs> I'm looking, but I I can't find a move that doesn't win. Best investment, send me money. Well invested. Man, Karen's getting mad because of what I'm doing to this guy. We agree when we got married, I couldn't do this to people. Yeah. This is this is just awful. God damn. This is the beating of a lifetime. Hope that kid's not under eighteen or I'm gonna go to jail for that game. Damn, he was a good sport. Alright, let's see how Karen's doing. Go Karen. But stay there. Uh there she is. Let's see, extra rook, extra 10 seconds, some isolated pawns. She played knife f5, ruining her opponent's pawn structure, but she played knife f5, that's the important thing. Go, Karen. <laughs> Yay, trying to learn like Snife F5. <sighs> no, I drank a bottle of Perrier, although mostly I spilled it on the table, ruining my monitor. But otherwise, I did good. All right, we need 50 more subs before the stream ends. 
we got to get to 500. Otherwise, it's a disaster of biblical proportions. And I'm an atheist, so, you know, something. Yay, Karen Fee and Kenoda Rook. Good job. Yay, she put the best move. Go, Karen. Can we get a Vishwa nothing? We can. Somebody give him a sub. He's hungry. Karen doubles up on the bubble up. Go, Karen. F5 was good. Oh, King G2, slightly inaccurate. All right. well, I don't have a lot of time. Slightly. Don't Not totally time. inaccurate, just slightly. Go, Karen. Yay, Karen with the mating net. Karen's too good. Go, Karen. Aw. Yay. Yay, you won. You gained 10 rating points. Good job. Excellent game. Good job. All right, now I'm playing the real Greco. He's the real Greco. No, he's the real Greco. All the other Grecos. Yeah? That's, he's, he's also known as the other buy. Trade J. Len Brown has subscribed. He's better than me, but... What? He's not better than anybody anything. He is. What about it? You know, uh, let's see. The road of this something. Made in one... Uh, oh. Man, I play just like Carlson. Man, I'm good. Look at me. I'm the greatest player who ever lived. Uh, still playing like Carlson. Damn. Do, do, do. Put it in H. I take you, you take me, put my queen on F3. I'm as old as I can be. No, hanging my bishop. No, no. Who would have thunk it? Let's see, if he pre-moves this, I should play knight here. He did not pre-move. But yeah, like in a one-minute game, you should play knight c3. In case they pre-move. First time catching me live and I hang a piece. No. 494 viewers 999 let's see h5 he's putting it in h uh, i wonder how long he can last up a piece and i think the answer is not very long
Da, da, da. No, no dragon drinks. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. I'm a happy family. Fenton Beingold with the unusual, you know, tweet that non nonsensical. Oh wait, they're all nonsense. Let's see, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Man, Chad's dumber than usual. No, nah, it's, it's the usual dumb. I'm just kidding. Not dumber than usual. It's the correct amount of dumbness. Was that Bishop Sack on purpose? Um yes. That's right, Michael Jackson. Remember to always think twice. Interesting move. To think twice. Um, hmm. Here. Da da da. Da da. Eyes were like mine. All right, banning all the all the religious people, as they should be. Uh, let's see. Knight H five double question mark. Bam. No sugar. Yeah, the dragon drink is the best, and without sugar. Hooray. All it has is dragons. All right, let's see. Knight takes, queen takes, and then I resign? But it was so much fun to do that. Knight takes g6. Knight takes e5. Queen takes e5. I take you. You take me. Uh, I don't see Vishwa nothing. What do I do? G6, rook takes, queen takes. Uh. Hmm. Nothing works, huh? No, we got a sack of peas. I didn't come here not to sack a peas. Uh, my message got lost. Let's see. All right, we f we found your message. How's that? There we go. Man, the chat's really dumb today. Maybe I don't read it enough. Ah, oh, down a piece. Did you win? Hmm? Huh? I don't know what that means. That means you won or you didn't. Go, Karen. Karen's too talkative. Can I play Queen H4? That was my plan. I mean, I'm going to play it, but can I play it? All right. I mean, I did play it. <laughs> Why did you ban that guy? It's my stream. I ban whoever I want. I like banning people. Yay! 60 seconds of commercials. If it was up to me, I would ban all of you. But Karen says don't ban everybody. So, I don't know. Seems like that's the right thing to do. Uh, let's see here. All right. Confusing the audience. King G7, wow. And I thought I was bad at chess. I wonder if King G7 was the worst legal mode. King G8, King, yeah. King G8 is better, King H6 better, Knight G6 better, King G6 better. Maybe, maybe King G6 isn't better.
Yay, give him ads. Still theory. Don't resign, because my next one's really funny. Yeah, don't ever resign, because that was funny. Yeah. Always repeat. All right, he was a good sport, because he was winning, and then he let me win. Good sport. What happened to that 2400 guy? Why, why isn't he... He lost? Who did he lose to? Wow. The 2400 guy lost. Frankly, ridiculous. Let's see. Karen's black against trying to learn. Karen's completely winning. Every move wins. And she has more time. Man, good job, Karen. Trying to learn's looking for the resign button, but he can't find it. So he's changing his handle to trying to resign. Let's flip the board since Karen's black. Also Karen black. I can't buy bits. I don't know how the internet works. Ask a child. Yay, one million, whoa, what did I do? I, I broke my stream because you donated so much. Uh, my Prail donated 20 subs. Yay, go my Prail. The guy who donated 99.99 is now donating even more subs. Hooray, go my Prail. Go Karen. <laughs> Yay. 20 subs. The more subs, the better. I'm so slow. Yeah. Go, Karen. All right, next round. Yeah? Go, Karen. Who am I playing? I'm playing a 1445 and I'm 3-0? What? How am I playing a 1445? Marie Gabrielle. Is that the Gabrielle who goes to our chess club? Probably not. It says France. Also, her name's Gabriella. And her name's not Marie. Otherwise, I was close. Now, when I say hello, Homer Thompson, you nod your head. I think he's talking to you. Yay, 20 subs. We're getting close to our goal. Allez, allez. No, 96 is mate. Don't do it. Oh, good, good, good. Go, my prail. The more you donate, the more money Karen and I have. Stream was all messed up. Stream looks good. Let's see. Although it is all messed up, I agree. <laughs> Let's see, what happened? I don't know. Chessboard. It did get all messed up. It's true, it's true. Let's see. Yeah, to get all this stuff. All right, it's sort of fixed, but not really. Let's see what she do there. Yeah, you donated too much money, and I got all confused. Man. <laughs> Queen A five. No, no trading. No. Hmm. 
Did I fix the stream? I can't tell. Eh, it's not great. I guess I can keep trying to fix it. Let's see. Yeah, stream did get messed up. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I got, I like moved something around when I got these huge donations. Huge. He's a heartbreaker, Jim Baker. Yeah, I don't like that either. All right, that's good enough for the likes of you guys. All right, what happened? I sacked the exchange. Yay, I like sacking the exchange. Now what do I do, resign? Uh, I don't know, here. Let's see. Yeah, it looks sort of okay. Not too good. Sort of okay. All right. Uh, whose turn is it? Mine? Mine! Hmm. That's still no good. Come to Brazil. 467 subs. So close. Let's see there. If I take this, I can give all my pieces away. I like giving all my pieces away. Let's do that. Go, Ben. Hmm. Gotta fix this board, though. Hmm. Let's see. Having fun. And you're sitting cake in my food home. What happened? You took your food home, but now you're hungry? Mm -hmm. I'm just spending my whole game fixing my stream. Oh, I, I was really concentrating on the game. How'd you do? I'm waiting on my opponent to move. Oh, uh, maybe I'm playing you because I'm not moving. Uh, yeah, I totally messed everything up. Uh, sorry. I'm trying to make it look marginally butter. But yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Damn. I'm just messing it up. All right, well, truth hurts. Hmm.
let's see. That's pretty terrible. That's the best I've done so far. <laughs> it is terrible. <laughs> I mean, they can see the whole the whole board, I guess. I mean, it's not good. It's like better than you know, I was. But obviously, it could be one millionth of an inch better on the bottom. And, you know, I don't like the way the right looks. Yeah, that guy donated and I went all crazy. Terrible. Passably watchable. <laughs> yeah, terrible, frankly. Eight squares is okay. Did you win? No. Uh, the more you donate, the more I'll fix the stream. I have a nice center. Go, Nico. You can do it. Probably you could find a better boyfriend than you have now, so I would recommend... Well, okay. You know what you're doing. Yay, I undoubled my pawns. Okay. Yeah, the wrestler's great. You won? Mm -hmm. I missed my stream. I spent my whole game fixing it. Oh. Then I stacked all my pieces and made it my opponent. Ten twenty six. You know, it's on your computer right in front of you. It tells you what time it is. Twenty four ninety nine. My opponent was a good sport. All right, that was round four. There's two rounds left in the Sunday night stupidity suckers. What's that? <gasps> yeah, you can finish it. Yeah, toast is good. Drink your toast. They're talking about my toast. Man, there's no way to fix my stream ever. What's Darn. I don't know. Mm. Is there a chat left in the yeah, everything's fine. It's the bottom isn't good because I when somebody donated, I got all excited and I destroyed everything. Like I was like ah, and then that was it. I destroyed the stream. Let's see. Too ashamed after flagging Karen. You had to pull out. What did your? I oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, if you if you don't need to pull out, if you use prophylaxis. It's true that I don't usually flag people. Totally missed Queen G4. Well, don't miss Queen G4. You thought I was going to retreat because you're French, but you should have realized I'm American, so I just go forward willy-nilly. Control plus minus on your chess.com window. Then on your OBS, choose one of them or both. All right. Cal calm down in the chat. Somebody tell his mother to buy him some more pizza. All right, Naka's such a good loser. Well, he has a lot of, you know, experience. Yeah. Are you going to have Kanye back on the stream? Not, not after the way he behaved last time. 2169. All right, if I win this game, I break 2500. Because I get three points if I win. Who are you playing, Karen? Jersey's. Who? Jersey's. Estimated rating? 1443. Oh. Man, Karen and I had some good food last night. We went to Barcelona, which is um, an Inman Park area of Atlanta. Uh, it's a tapas place. What's funny about that, there's a very good tapas place in, in uh, Clayton near, near St. Louis named, named Barcelona. I give the slight nod to this one in, in Atlanta. It's really good. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Can you name all 45 presidents in order? Do I have to, do I have to name uh, Cleveland twice, or can I just name him once? If I have to name him twice, no. But if I can just name him the one time, then maybe. <clears throat> Bam. Oh, so I don't consider Trump the president. Only been 41. Correct. 
Okay, well, the first president was Jefferson Davis. Bam. You know, I do live in Atlanta now. 85, why is he so aggressive? We have to aggressively go for our 2500 rating. You take me, I take you. Picked a bad week to stop stiffing glue. Do I consider Putin the president of the U.S.? Yeah. I mean, he is, so what do you mean? Do I consider him the president? Who else is the president? Man, it's funny. A few years ago, I went to the former Soviet Georgia for the world youth, and now I'm in Soviet Georgia. Damn. Things change quickly. Let's see here. I don't know. Here? Yeah. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. I'm a happy family. Put it in H. Lichi san subscribed. Viva Peron. That's funny because last night Karen had Peroni. Da, da, da. Man, this guy's too good. Good thing I'm three good. If he threatens knight a2, I won't see it and I'll lose. No, anything but that. D5. Man, all these guys' moves seem pretty good. All his moves are drive-bys. <sighs> Man, this is a tough game. Just when I could taste 2,500, they drag me back down. Something like that. All right, we need at least 20 more subs to get to our 500 goal. So the more you sub, the, the more subs. Man, he actually did threaten knight a2. Always play king b1. Who's the most talented player ever to become champion? Probably me. Probably. Uh, let's see. Develop a piece? That's crazy talk. Luckily, this position's still theory. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble. But it's still theory. G5, also still theory. Always retreat. Uh, let's see here. Yes. At least I have 30 seconds more. All right. Thanks for all the people who subbed and donated. We need a few more subs to get to our 500 goal. You can do it. It's like 400, but it doesn't suck. Was that the movie Spencer hates or was that 300? What was the terrible movie, 300 or 400? I didn't see either one. So I don't know. I don't get it. And I'm always missing that tactic. It's the same tactic. I miss it a lot, though. Uh, let's see. It was 350 split the difference? All right. Hmm, what do I do? I guess lose. Good answer. Um, hmm. Sack my queen, I guess. I don't see anything else to do. <clears throat> oh, well, I'm down a queen, but at least my opponent has, like, an okay connection with some lag. He's from Jordan, so I have a chance. He might lose on time in a winning position. It's my only hope. Oh, yeah, that threatens my knight, so I can't play rook c1. Darn <sighs> Always play knife f5, I guess. Oh. And rook takes wins immediately. Damn. Hmm. After every move, everything he does wins immediately. Damn. <sighs> huh. That makes things difficult. Don't like that either. 
All right. I guess when you're losing, you're losing. Yeah, I shouldn't have played almost every move I played. Truth hurts. I can never get to 2,500. Impossible. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's check. Uh, and I have less time. At least he played 98. So, you know, I can continue playing for a second. Man, F6 is a good move. I've never said that before. <laughs> Man, why can't I be playing my usual opponent and not this guy over 2100? I need to play somebody like 1100, so I have a chance. Go, Ben. Sack all your pieces. I need some more pieces. Can I have a piece, please? I need some. No? Come on, sweetie. I need a piece. Every night I get a piece, but now I can't get one. Damn. Yay, a subscription from Moosebumps1. Go, Moosebumps. This position's not very good. Not very good. Go, Ben. But stay there. Ah, uh, sorry. Come on, Ben. Crash through with the attack. Crash into me. Coming to you. Man, this position's tough. Go, Ben. You can do it. Come on, somebody break this guy's computer. Do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you win? No. Aw. Damn. That's a pretty good computer move. <sighs> That's tough. Damn. Yeah, I couldn't beat the computer. Darn. I thought I'd win anyway, because I thought he'd lose on time, but computers made you quick. quick, quick. Oh, well. No. Darn. Oh, well. I mean, I'll get the rating points back, but I won't win the tournament, because they don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Darn. Oh, well. The truth hurts. Let's see, cheating, computer, block, yeah, I guess. I don't know. All right, he's been reported. Darn, I thought I was going to win because I thought at the end he'd stop using his computer, but he mated me first. Darn. That's the problem with the computer people is you don't get the points back and win the tournament. Well, aw. Yeah, you can't beat those engines. That's why I don't play with increment, but in five minutes they can still use an engine and beat me. Damn. Too good. Too You're good. Both the opponent, same. Mm -hmm. I'm playing Rufus and Doofus now. Go, Rufus and Doofus. Wait, he has four out of five? Rufus and Doofus? Damn. Man. 
No, I could beat the engines because when they have 30 seconds left and I'm not getting mated and they have to move on their own, then I win. But 31 seconds left when he mated me, so I couldn't win. Damn. The F3 was a good move. Never play F3. I, I, saw, I saw one of the maids. I didn't see the other one. Damn. Let's see, Rook B1. Yeah. Yeah, the truth hurts. 94.4% accuracy. That's about 2,100. <laughs> you know, if they play like four moves, then that's a 2,100. Yeah. No, the reason you can tell people are using engines is when they play like five seconds a move or four seconds a move. Because humans don't play like that. You take like 20 seconds on one move, you play five moves in like two seconds. So it's just like six seconds, six seconds, six seconds. And then, and then all their moves are perfect, then you know you're playing a cheater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's okay, I'll let you guys know when I get the points back. I always get the points back. So let's see, if I beat this guy, I get zero points. So I still won't be 2,500. Where? Because I don't think I win the game. I think I just get zero points. So that's unfortunate. Queen takes C3 is pretty risky. Hmm. Ah, he's up a pawn. No, he's a cheater. <laughs> Where? Yeah, the ball. Let's see, do I win this queen somehow? Here? Yeah, there. Oh, I hung my bishop on e2. It's a good thing he won't see it. He doesn't wait nine seconds, so here's my voice say it. Ah, darn. Good peace sack though. You made me care more. That was terrible. They couldn't get Ice T to do that. They had to hire a random voice actor to play Ice T. Horrible. No, what a world. You made me care more. That wasn't a sack. I, I mean, that wasn't a blunder. Look at the compensation. The point of cheating is to ruin my tournament so we can't have fun on my stream. <laughs> That's the point. Ah. Uh. This is why we made a minimum number of games to play. I made it 75 and people complain so I moved down to 40. Usually when people cheat all the time, they get caught. So if we have a minimum number of games, they've already been caught or they're not cheating. But the guy, he got through the cracks. What can I do? Say no to crack. Never play F3. But since I've already blundered a piece, I'll play F3. That way I get connect four. And I can play F4, making up for my indiscretion of F3. All right, guys, let's go. The stream's almost over. We need about 20 more subs to get to five, 500 subs. You can do it. Come on, I got Connect 4, and then I got Tic-Tac-Toe, and now Connect 5. That move's not a good move. I just want to have Connect 5. I would never play that move, but it just looks good. 
They got me with their stupidity, suckers. I can't believe it. Yeah, I sort of believe it. Let's see, always retreat. Darn. Can't believe I didn't beat the cheater. Darn. I had the last like five more moves. And then if he had to play on his own, I would have won. Because he could only make like six more moves before his flag fell. Very disheartening. Damn. Can you make six queens in this game? I mean, I'm completely lost, so probably not. Maybe after this, I've equalized. Hmm. Nah, I'm still worse. Put it in H. I don't know. King F2, activate your king? No. Somebody wants to be friends. Why can't we be friends? Ah, oh, what do I do? What do I do if I checkmate you? At least I'm playing checkers over here. Trade queens to the winning end game. Yay! I thought I might get mated with my king so horrible. Now I'm not worried about getting mated. Hooray. And we do the walk. We do the walk of life. Do the song about the sleep loving one. Do the song about the knife. We do the walk. Did you win? No. Aw. I gave a piece away for Vishwa nothing, but now I'm probably winning. Now I have Vish with something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go eat some peanuts. Mm hmm. That's my consolation. Mm hmm. Is this the last round? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, this is the last round. Darn. That you're playing currently for? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. What did Karen just say? She said something about eating nuts. That's, what I said. That's it? That's what I said. Yeah. Okay. I was just letting him know. Sometimes you feel like nuts, sometimes you don't. Yeah. Thoughts on Andrew Yang? Who's Andrew Yang? He's the guy running for president? Is that who that is? Yeah, you know, he's a person. I mean, Daniel DeGran, you like him. So that's that's what I think of him. Aw. Well, let's see how the cheater's doing. Oh, the cheater's playing the 2300. Go 2300. But what is the cheater's name again? I don't know. The cheaters are going to lose. I gotta see. So if the 2300 wins, I could still get first. Do I see that's the cheater, and that's the 2300. I can't see from here what this says. What, what says? Joel? What? The cheater's name. Jed Smotty 13. Uh. Also, cheater. He's finally got the name. Yeah, he probably was cheating and had to stop because it's really late in the game. Yeah. So, yeah, then you can't cheat anymore. Okay. That's too bad. I feel bad for him. If he's going to cheat, he should win the tournament. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, don't forget to, to give some subs now. You got 10 minutes to get to 500 subs. Hey, Sack Blaster. 
Nice. You talking to me? <laughs> what? I'm right here. Hey, Mr. Popezilla. Yay. And they do the walk. No! <laughs> Beat me by half a point on tie breaks. No! <laughs> no! Well, it's good he cheated and he won, so that's good. You know, you don't want to kind of cheat on that win. Yeah. It's terrible. Wasting his time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll do a puzzle rush. Yay. Because I'll definitely get in the 40s. Sarah Palin, 2020. Go Sarah Palin. Is she still around? No, she's dead. <laughs> uh, let's see. Jeffrey Chong has 53. Man, they really... What, what happened here? What's going on? What? <laughs> What's happening to my stream? Let's see. 100% is right. I don't know. Why, why, why does everything get messed up? I don't know. <laughs> what? I mean, what? I don't know. I wasn't even at Puzzle Rush. All right. Do uh, the walk of life. I right, will do the info. No, I don't want that. I want checkbox. He won fair and square. Let's see. Da, 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 da. So how's that look? That's no good. Look at the bottom. It looks like the chessboard's too big. Oh, yeah. Make it smaller. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing to do. Then you do the alt. Oh, there you go. Okay. How's that? Mm -hmm, that looks better. Yeah, I agree. All right, now I can. Let's see. What did the cheater say? He didn't cheat. Let's see. Balin. Ten dollars and one cent. Yay, he put his two cents in after his nine ninety one. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Cole Amos says, what, what can I crash the screen again? Yeah. Somehow I'm a magician. Yeah. Without touching it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's Puzzle see. Coach. Oh, the cheater guy? They said he's yeah. 900 in bullet, but 2200 in bullet. Because in bullet, you can't cheat. He can, just doesn't know how. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, learn how to cheat, dude. How do they cheat? Let me, let me tell you what you're doing wrong okay, when you're well, cheating so you won't get caught next time. I'm trying to help you. When you move every four seconds, you're cheating, okay? When you're up like 50 pieces and you made in three when nobody else in the world would, you're cheating. When your slow ratings are a 1,000 points higher than your fast ratings, you're cheating. And by saying you're not cheating, that means you're even more cheating. Yeah, so just stop cheating. Just play and lose like you're supposed to. Don't come on my tournaments and cheat. Go to other people's tournaments and cheat. I lose to 1,200 when they don't cheat. I don't need to play cheaters also. God. Tip the hat. Donate a 10. Exactly. All right. Aww. Now, what am I doing here? Is this, is this actually working now? Tip the hat. All right. Oh, tip the hat. And stop donating money. I need subs. I want you to get 500 subs. Guys, people, right? Feel free to donate money. No, don't do that. I don't want money. If you're going to cheat, do it better. Learn how to cheat. Is this right? All right. Uh, this looks right. I don't know. Knight g4 looks good. I don't know what's better. Knight. Oh, knight g4 is illegal. That's why it wasn't better. They both were the same mate, but one wasn't. Uh, I was confused. The illegal move wasn't good. Uh, here? I guess. And then that's mate, I guess. And then that looks right. I just don't know why it's right. Looks right, though. And then I should have mate in one. Oh, 
I see an eight and one. I'm the worst, the worst, Jerry, the worst. Go, Ben. Uh, here. And then Queen. Uh -oh. That was a weird answer. Not just checkmate. All right. Hmm. I don't know. Where's the resign button? I need to resign. This should be easy. Oh, it's Rook D7. I didn't see Rook D7. Is it here? And then here? And here? All right, it's a dumb puzzle. Uh, let's see. It's obviously here. I just can't see the follow up. Oh, 95, I guess. All right, I didn't see 95. Come on, I'm trying to do puzzles. Eh, that was the trick. Whose turn is it? Uh, whose turn is it? Mine? Uh, here? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Takes? Why wouldn't I take? I don't know. Why doesn't every legal move in here? Why is this a puzzle? All right, that was weird. Here? You agree, Karen? Yeah. Okay, as long as you agree. Got to get some cheating in. Okay. Rook here first? Mm -hmm. No, then knight b6? Oh, yeah, then I have mate. Okay. Uh, f7, or rook takes. And then queen? That puzzle was weird. Go, Ben, get to 40 with your slow self. Here, oh, it's here. What oh, was retreat? Uh, is he threatening anything? No. Okay. Mm hmm. How do I threaten stuff? Ninety one, rookie one, and I resign. I don't know. Take this. Yes. 34, not much time left. Is this it, Karen? Yeah. You didn't say yeah, you didn't help me. You gotta help me. Wow. Well, yeah. I'm not gonna cheat. Why not? I said I know it. <laughs> All right. Uh, stop scaring me. 36. Thirty-seven. Yeah, I'm just too slow. I'm an old man. I'm confused. Hmm. Uh, thirty-eight. No, but too slow. Damn. Longest streak was thirty-eight. Mm -hmm. Am I thirty-eight right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm but I'm too so slow. Look at Spicy Caterpillar getting sixty-seven. That's about as slow as me, except for one thing. Let's see. I'm as good as this person with no title. Hey, that guy who beat me, who I said cheated, he got 39. Mm -hmm. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. All right, let's see. Did I get my points back yet? Uh, not yet. Darn. <laughs> Darn. I'll get them back before the stream tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, they won't take long to see this guy's a cheater. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember that video with Toth. <laughs> looking at chess space while he was playing. <laughs> Did I cheat? No, but actually, yes. That's paraphrasing, uh, you know, uh, 
Tall Baron. Yeah, I saw the video. <laughs> That's pretty Tall good. Tall Baron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I printed the Rosalimo against you. I got 91.8. You got 98.7. Is this like radio stations? What's this guy talking about? 38 is amazing. What? You're old and confused. Were you shoplifting batteries? I was shoplifting books from the bookstore. We all do it. Yeah, Seinfeld. Yeah. Who was shoplifting books from the bookstore? Um, I don't remember that episode. Um, Uncle Leo. Oh, okay. I was and, say then, and then he tells his mom, George. and he's like, we all do that. What's wrong with that? I got some batteries. <laughs> and then he's like, what? Yeah. Yeah, Uncle Leo. All right. It's, it's 11 o'clock. My stream is over. It was a very unsuccessful stream because you guys didn't give enough. So I'm never streaming again until tomorrow. Yeah. All right. So do I raid chess bras, Rosen, or Canty? We'll let the people decide. Oh, definitely Rosen. All right. I guess we're letting Karen decide. Oh. Raid, <laughs> and then I am Rosen. He's an I am. Definitely Rosen. See, Canty's a GM. GM Canty. Rosen. You know Canty's not a GM, right? Yeah. Right. He's an, F, he's an <laughs> I know. Yeah. All right. Chess bras. No, I got to do Rosen because I don't know. It's got to be Rosen. All right. Thanks to everyone except the cheater. But that was good, too. That makes Bye, me everybody. That makes me humble. Go, so. Rosen. Yeah. All right. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 o'clock. And I'm not streaming two hours. Then this stream would end at 9. I'm streaming till 11. Bye.